Well, here we let's see if this works. Holy cats, a little bit of technical difficulties with all the other stuff. But hey, everybody, welcome uh, to... Man, I haven't streamed under squad in a long time. Johnny Omaha here, and uh, just wanted to say Doc Hammer is literally Hitler. Doc, welcome. Hello, I'm Hitler. Hello, Hitler. Hosting? Hosting Pika? Uh, should, yeah, well, it should uh, switch over here in a minute. We'll see how it all... We should be streaming here. So we'll see if it'll come on over. Oh, yeah. There we so, go. There it is. Is it? We're live now? We're live. So if, it, yeah. Wonderful. Well, welcome, everybody. So let's, why don't we just go down the list and uh, introduce ourselves? Um, I'm uh, Doc Hammer, the founder of the doctor's office. Um, been playing squad for 25 years. <laughs> how many hours Last do you have, squad. Doc? How many, uh, how many hours do you have in the game? Uh, 2,850. 2,850 hours. Oh, awesome. Yeah, Who else squad, we got? Yeah. I'm sorry, I was, was going to say, I, my entire time playing squad, I've only ever played squad lead. Squad lead. So 2,800 hours of squad lead. That's Except correct. Except for Doc's Day Off. You do get a it, Doc's Day Off every Doc's, now Doc's, Doc's Day Off once in a blue moon. Where <laughs> they, I, don't, I, I'm, I force myself to just plan our team squads and not have a squad. And not get in there? Yeah, exactly. I dig What's it. Up, uh, I'm Odie. I sit at the right hand of the Fob Father, Dr. <laughs> the Hammer. The Fob Father. My conciliary. Conciliary. Yeah, we play SL. That's about it. We play a competitive and uh, we like to win. Odie, how many hours? Uh, 1,600 or so. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Rugby. Rugby's AFK. AFK. Rugby, uh, rugby is a vehicle, or vehicle squad lead. He's been with us for a little while now. Uh, I'm not sure much hours, how many hours he has. Probably, I would say around 1,000. He's a Christian. Um, <laughs> God bless. He's a Christian squad lead. Love it. Love it. Is so, that this guy? Who's oh. next? Disco. Hello, Disco. everyone. Disco Lemonade. Lemonade here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Join Doc's office. What, how long have we been playing together now? Almost a year. Yeah, probably about a year. Ish. Most yeah, of us have been playing together for about a year. He's the yeah. founder, founder of Friday Night Drunk Squad. And oh, how yeah, is your blood pressure done since, yeah. since joining? Huh? How is your blood pressure done since joining? Since uh, we're so toxic. Uh, it's risen because Doc yells a lot. So. Yeah. Mm. Well, we're gonna get into that for sure. Yeah. Every Who's... time I play, it just rises. You know, I just can't handle the heat. <laughs> Who else we got on the list here today? Oh, we got uh, me. I'm uh, don't panic. My frags are organic. You can call me don't panic for short. I've been here since about. I think I came here in September. Uh, 400 IQ squad player. I just broke 2,000 hours today. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I just like to say that yesterday. I'm at 993 hours. Sure was. Almost 993? There. Yeah. Awesome, Disco. So Disco's at 993. Almost hitting the 1,000. And, uh... Seven more hours. Awesome. Special shout out to the Devil Dolphin in chat. Stax in chat. Triathlon in strat chat here. And, uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of great stuff here. Is um, that by chance Trithian? You it's know trithian. what? It's probably Trithian. Hey, I read oh, it as so triathlon. He's so he's triggered. So triggered. So triggered. Mad, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, like, trithian. Tri trithian. If you can hear me, Trithian, get owned. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Innocent mistake. Uh, <laughs> well, there we go. You know, maybe that's a good... Uh, and so he's part of the doc's office as well. Yeah, he's... Uh, He's our server, our head server admin is what I would call him. He does a great job at um, keeping the server um, as high level play as he possibly can. Uh, make sure that you know everyone is following the rules and he just does a great job all around. He's, he doesn't play competitive with us, um, but he, he's a great server admin. Awesome, awesome. Who else we got here? Uh, Kip's in here, but I don't know if Kip, Kip, or you, you want to say anything. You just, you just listening, lurking in the shadows. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, Kip. Yeah, the uh, resident playmaker, <laughs> the uh, the office, fob hunter, 
That's pretty much it. That's right. Water burger extraordinaire. That's yeah, right. Me my water burger. You know, Certified referee. Founder of the four corners and three pillars of squad. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, everybody's asking, what's the purpose of this stream? Uh, real quick, I'm going to have Kevin introduce himself, and then we will get right into that. That's all you have to say. That's all you have to say. To Kevin. Kevin. That's all you have to say. Local Brit, token uh, offshore player. That's all there is to it. <laughs> How many hours, Kev? Uh, oh, uh, 1,798. That's a lot of hours. That's a lot of hours. So how, many, there you go. How, how many hours do you have, Johnny, in squad? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so before my break, I, let me see. Uh, it's going to be hard. It is uninstalled right now. So let's see how many Ooh. hours, if it tells me. Is that confirmed, confirmed uh, just a break there, Johnny? It's it's a it's a break. Um, 1,593. And like 800 is playtime, and then anything after 800 is casting. So, uh, but no, I wanted to, <laughs> what a, it's just, just a little minor break. So yeah, there's not actually any squad gameplay that's going to be happening, but what is happening is just, uh, I guess it's been real hard for me to, uh, to, to, to do some of this stuff because I had a chance to see doc and play with doc and, and the office. And there's these things that are just being said that, I mean, I just think that you guys need an opportunity. Um, Doc, you and I were talking like you've been banned from a lot of these communities. Um, Discord, Reddit. Uh, I don't know about the forums or anything, but there's really no place that you can actually basically defend yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's it, it's kind of it doesn't want to say it sucks, but, you know, it's you don't really get an opportunity to even explain or um, tell people like why I am the way I am or what I'm trying to get across. Um, no, there's it's, it's a it's 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 like you get your your voice muted before you're even able to voice your the expression of, of what you were doing in the first place or, or what happened. It's just it's there's no ability to do that so kind of kind of feel muted or shunned which is you know it's it is what it is but so doc what would you say to robin sage right now he says this whole thing seems to perpetuate the drama circle jerk that's been going on in squad for a while do you think this is perpetuating it or what do you what are your thoughts i don't think it i don't think it's perpetuating it i think it's just a place to talk and express your opinions and I, and I think that's okay i will say I, we did we, we did get a little dramatic little little creative flair with the title so yeah. maybe a little maybe gotcha more, maybe a little spammy a little more, uh more humorous than anything that's what we're all about johnny that's right <laughs> that's right a little a little clickbaitish. you won't find any snowflakes here johnny no yeah I, I don't i think perpetuating would would be if i was on here flaming people but you know what here i'm just gonna say this real quick so it just seem, seems kind of like two-faced. This, this disco, as, disco. Yeah, this is what you're saying here. here. Yep. Like what perpetuates the drama is banning entire communities from a game, or a community for NAS or Reddit or whatever. And it's, I mean, you're gonna ban people who haven't even talked to NAS disc, NAS Discord for what months, and then you got people banning Reddit for shit. And Squad Ops is the same shit. I'm gonna name drop them. We so, get banned from Reddit. The uh, fucking community gets banned from Reddit for what? Here, upvote my fucking video. So maybe we should talk about the different kind of why why it's gotten to this point, right? So it, it, normally you guys want to be able to maybe I don't know if want to be able is the right term or whatever, but you guys want to um, like have a voice at least, right? Like <laughs> to be able to actually, if somebody says you're a jerk or dude banned me or whatever. You want to at least be able to like, well, this is the situation that happened or whatever. Um, a lot of whatevers here. So maybe I need to clear up well, what I'm saying. I like, don't get it wrong. Like, I know I say stupid shit in discords. I find call me toxic, whatever. I don't, that word's just kind of retarded in my mind. But, yeah. you know, don't get it wrong. Like, I, I don't, I can see us, how people perceive us that way. But, I mean, I, to ban entire communities over what people say in the discord, like, 
to me, that's like grow up. The so word toxic's become as yeah. much of a joke to me as is the word meme. Like it's it's become such a broad term now that you can't pin it down to one thing. So toxic. banning someone for being toxic mm -hmm. is incredibly incredibly blasé and lazy. I think. I mean, come on, if you're going to ban something from something, be more specific exactly what it is you're banning them for, not toxicity. So what kind of bans are we talking, guys? I mean, like, what what has Doc's Office been banned from? Well, we're not allowed to be mentioned on Reddit, and mention of our name is forbidden. Okay. So well, you, except, let me, let, me, let me butt in there, because as as I'm except aware. for um, what the admins will allow is, like, bashing of uh, Doc's Office server and community you're allowed right. to do that even though it's against the subreddit rule because the mods are uh, rules for thee and not for me yeah you know, and it, i think devil dolphin said it in chat um it feels like the community slash reddit controls the game more than the devs yeah do. boom and by community he means well he says milsim community I, I think um the word milsim is almost just as um, ridiculous is the word toxic, in my opinion. I, I don't think I think milsim is the wrong word to kind of describe the group of people. I think I think they're the casuals. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say milsim. I think milsim is more of a derogatory term to the, to describe that part of the community. I think they're more casual. I would I would challenge you though, Doc. It's not necessarily casual either. Like it's it's I don't I can't describe it. It, it doesn't feel casual. It doesn't feel milsim. It just feels. Is it not competitive? Like, what is the... I just don't know what it is because there's still these competitive players uh, or non-competitive players are still playing the game. Like, casual players are still playing the competitive game, just not to the extreme. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, th I think I think, I think think if I had to come up with a word, I'd say equalizer because a lot of the quote-unquote Milsim community are opting for changes to the game to kind of equal the playing field for against the more competitive community because in v9 a player can wipe out an entire squad uh, with ease like a hot knife going through butter it was so easy to just get behind a squad and annihilate the whole squad and granted a, a person can still do that now it's i wouldn't say it's harder um but due to the new game mechanics is definitely a little bit more challenging um, in some circumstances. Um, but the people, I would say, quote-unquote, or Milsim, are opting for game changes that level the playing ground so that uh, the competitive players are, are almost equal, in a sense. So it's kind of like taking the skill out of the game for a uh, person playing a first-person shooter so you're not as, as capable of doing those kind of things with, you know, with just one or two players. Um, so I would almost label them if I had to label a, a group of people, which I don't like doing, but as equalizers. Not okay. Milsim. So we're almost saying the not. Why don't we call it the competitive versus the non-competitive? Can we can we agree exactly. on maybe that? Okay. So because yeah. the competitive community is enjoy, I would say enjoying AAS and really making the most out of the vanilla game. No mods. You know what I'm saying? So of course. it's just the game as it exists today. The competitive community, like it is you play AAS, like you cap flags, you count down neutrals, you know how many people need to be on a point. There's all these things that you play and you you take it to the extreme. The non-competitive community, they have to do that as well, but I don't know if it's try hard, like if competitive is try hard versus non-try hard, I'm not too sure. But essentially, so those are the two groups, let's say, if we had to group, which we don't like to, but we're gonna, um, just so that we have clarity of terms. So let's say the, the difference is like competitive teams, they want to basically squeeze like all the juice out of the game. You know, like uh, we want teamwork to be as as much as possible, you know, um, like, ooh, fuck, I just lost my train of thought. But um, like we want we want this the skill ceiling on teamwork to be super high. And it's like we don't want um we don't want that to be lowered, you know, by by pulling down the individual skill ceiling of players, you know? And I think in a lot of ways we compare more to quotation marks, Milsimers, end quotes, than we first admit or people think. Because at the end of the day, all we want is as many players in one server working together 
as, as well together as, as, as if you like a professional army would um, not <laughs> not trying to act like an army but that's what you, you see what we're getting at we want a, a, a 32 player versus 32 player working together well and you can't simulate that in a pub game so that's what comp squad is there for is for us to be able to do that um, yeah I'd say that's all we want <laughs> just simulated good games right that's all we want yeah, and these tournaments are ways for us to do that with as many people as possible. Like, like there's no, there's no problem. We have no problem with milsim communities or like the way that they play the game. That's fine. They can exist. It's just that we don't want um, individual skill to be artificially capped um, in order to make them have like a uh, a better LARPing experience. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So just yeah. to kind of recalibrate here, because it seems I can't. So the weird thing that's happened to me lately is I actually don't know. I don't know if this is the word. It's not toxic, but I don't know when people are memeing and when they're not memeing anymore in chat. So just to level set chat here, the whole purpose of this is that Doc's office has been banned from speaking, essentially. And they've been banned from communicating um, due to a numerous amount of reasons. Uh, but there's been no place for them to have a voice. And so what I wanted to do is give them an opportunity to at least talk about what's been going on for them and granted there might be this might be a super niche drama thing but like just wait until you're the one silenced and then how frustrating that is um, I think I don't know it also just feels like we've been silenced and banned or however you want to say it muted because we've been trying too hard it seems and that's more the problem for us um, as a group it's <laughs> That's why we feel like we've been singled out. We and it's, 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 not be... it's not necessarily that we we, we're, we are care about getting banned. It's not really an issue. Mm. I just feel like it's um, more or less like a huge double standard um, in the community to say like this group um, is toxic or um, and and we're not and we want to we want to unite the community, you know. And, and there they are dividing it themselves. So I think there's like a huge double standard, um, and uh, I, I, I just feel like it's just ridiculous, and um, people need to be very aware of that. Um, so, like for example, um, on the Reddit ban, um, we got banned for quote unquote gating videos or posts. Well, squad ops did the same thing, and it's not like I, I, I care. I don't. I don't really give a shit. You know, we got banned and, and publicly. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, just uh, accused of of doing these things, and yet they're the uh, squad ops is doing the exact same thing. Why? Why aren't they punished for it? I remember seeing a quote from was it Post Net Bag or something like that, where he said like, "Oh, theirs was from like 2016." Was the one we saw I'm like well does it make it any different i mean okay i i did it and that's why i'm banned it was for like a funny mortar video that me and Odie were playing in we got seven upvotes and i ended up getting banned like is that really necessary i don't go on reddit a lot i'm sure kudu will go oh, I care too much but you know i don't know well there's an Again, I want us to be able to have a chance, and, and Doc, part of what you wanted to do here today was kind of open it up and just see and have a, almost a conversation with the community. We've got some questions coming in from Chad. This one might be a tough one, but I want to ask it because of the fact that really I think what this can do is just kind of help level set some of the perceptions that are about Do Doc's office and the toxicity. This one yes. comes from Candu Cran uh, from FFO. Um, and he, he, this is the full question here. He said, would you guys consider screaming at randos in local chat, constantly calling people retards and referring to transport trucks as B Bruce Jenner to be toxic behavior? Is there a difference between being right and being toxic? It's just, or sorry, there is a difference between being right and being toxic. It's just that people tend to overlook one's opinion when that opinion is expressed crudely and aggressively. Being right and being toxic are not mutually exclusive. And I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Okay, so yelling at randoms and local. Okay, what do you what do you want me to do? You want me to ask them politely to move to the next flag? 
So as a squad leader, you're supposed to get people moving. You want to win a game. I'm not going to give them a box of chocolates and, and, and ask them to slowly move to the next flag, please. Um, calling people retards, probably because they deserve it. They're sitting on top of a logi truck. I'm trying to drive it. I mean, you're definitely not intel intelligent. I mean, you can you can call toxic toxic, but what what I mean, what is toxic? Because toxic, in my opinion, is getting into a game and um, intentionally throwing the game away, spamming local or spamming you know squad lead comms um, to get people to move. And to do something properly because they're sitting in Foxtrot 1 placing a fob doing nothing is not toxic. Getting into the game, screaming the N-word, and continuously doing nothing and intentionally blowing up assets, that's toxic, in my opinion. Getting someone to move and play the game is not toxic, um, in especially my when opinion. We, especially when we broadcast it on this server a lot. That it's a competitive server. Like, we, we play competitively. People know that. But people just run around and do that. <laughs> and just people like you come said. back every day for it, dude. They come yeah. back every day. Uh, and they, they join up and they become reg patients. And then they join the office. Um, the ironic thing about all this is, like, when I joined last year, we didn't have any of this going on. We were just another group. And then as it slowly started to develop, we only started to develop as a as a group in numbers people have started to flock in <laughs> and people are hearing me saying this probably think, oh it's all the toxic people going to one place and it's not it's really not it's all the nicest people in the world who just want to come because they want to play in a team where everyone wants to win as much as they do um so that's the ironic thing about it all to me really is any press is good press it seems um I'm 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 kind of surprised. I guess I wasn't aware of. I again, I can't tell if people are joking or they're serious in chat here, and it feels really. Um, it's See, just, doesn't this doesn't this no, that, part right here feel weird? Like, I don't. We're just having a discussion here, and there's like this whole. I'm just reading chat here, and it's like. Well, there's. I there's, mean, is this not part of it? Like, what what we're doing, what we're doing in chat as well. There's there's I one mean, example right there. Doc yelling at me made me a better player. I was back happening with a full squad. He yelled at me. I never made the mistake again. I'm not yelling at people because I intentionally want to like ruin the game or ruin r hurt their feelings. Like no one seems to understand that. So I guess a lot, what I'm seeing, if if everybody's being serious, people are having a, a real issue with the way th the words that are you're using in negative connotation. Um, this. I guess this transphobia thing, which I never really considered that transphobic. Oh, Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner. I mean, do you want no, to talk hilarious. about? It's, it's, it's a joke. It's hilarious. It's funny. Okay. If you don't like our sense of humor, that's fine. But yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be considered toxic. We're not. We're not calling you or like insulting anyone personally. If so you get offended yeah. over them. Are you? Are you? Tra are you transphobic? Like, are you transphobic? Guys, is anyone here transphobic? No. Know what that means, dude. No. It means it means you are um, afraid of people that are transgender, which means that they no. are. Why, why would you be afraid of them? Okay. <laughs> exactly. I think I mean, one, you, of, uh, one of our it's players a, a changed his truck. name to a, a, a tranny porn star, Bailey J. Doesn't matter who they are, dude. They have the same heart and their beating heart and thinking minds, just like we do. It's the same. Like, same part thing. of this, like I think. As a community, as a whole, we take all this shit way too serious. This memeing and this Discord chat, like people end up like taking that part of like the this community part where we talk more seriously than like the game. I don't and understand how are there so many snowflakes in a military game. I don't. I don't get it. Like, so what's this? What's a snowflake, Odie? Somebody who gets offended at everything, can't take a joke, like you know, just like personal insults, like. Just like you know, throw them off the cliff. Like in terms of like their emotional standing, it's like just grow a pair. Like it's just banter, you know. Like if you're gonna talk shit, expect this shit talk to come back to you, you know. So when people are saying that they're being harassed by doctor's office, what do you right. have to Isn't say about that? Pathetic? Doesn't it sound <laughs> pathetic to you that somebody 
It's, it's fake news, dude. Man by Doctor Zavis. You on the internet because it's you've got every news. option in the world to turn that man's voice off. So just do it. No I, mean, I, th I thought I thought in the latest release they you know they had a way to mute someone's mic, right? Yeah, I think. Well, then uh, then again, like a devil's advocate, it doesn't mute it everywhere. Like it can still just, hear people's just, voices. Just, been just mute, it. just mute them in game, then. I can't work out whether it's just local or just command comms. I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, yeah I want to read this one. There, right? Disgruntled yeah. says, what about the clans that have been harassed by Doc and members of his team in NAS until they had to leave the community? So well, one that, that doesn't even make sense, but... Yeah, I don't get it. Harassed by Doc, in what way? What? If, of... So, when somebody says that they feel harassed, why do you think they might say that? I can, I... I can see it. I, Doc, dude, you go nuts. But I, I, some people just, like, don't... I don't know. They just don't don't fucking play on the server. Yeah, I, well, I mean, I in NAS when there's you know teams that are just like not communicating or just doing something that will lose us like our momentum or something, and I get on them for it. What? Get, give like, me an example. Give me an example, real quick. What's something that um, has happened where you had to get on somebody uh, for they were losing momentum, for example? So in destruction, we were playing with Cog. This is just the my the, the first thing that comes off my head, and they were getting attacked at the their mortar fob, and they communicate they're getting attacked. So I load up the entire team in our vehicle. This is destruction, so there's no bleed, right? And we're gonna go attack the next flag, assuming that you know everything's honky dory. They don't communicate. We drive all the way over to the mortar fob, and everything's fine. They, they said that they're getting attacked. We go over there. Everything is fine. And, you know, just as soon as we get there, they said, oh, it's, it's all good. You know, blah, blah, blah. And they're calling us stupid for rolling up in a striker with nine guys. And we've it wasn't to nine. It was, it was 18 to we've stop come to 20 save tickets. You. It's like you've been yelling on the radio. Short notice. You need help. Roger that, sir. We're on our way. We'll bring 18 dudes and save your life. We get there and they're dealt with one dude. And so now we're getting laughed at. So now what's... Uh, <laughs> how then, is anyone yeah, well, gonna how is anyone gonna respond in that situation they're gonna so you're, get it back so you're saying the hindrance is uh they were calling for some support and backup they said they're the fob is being overrun exaggeration you guys it's all always, get in yeah. you, you bring 18 people in and then it's it's it's, it's, lack of it's, it's always a lack of communication okay. in squadly comms. There, someone's losing a fob. They don't say anything. They lose the fob. I'm like, dude, what the what the fuck? Like, why aren't you telling me you're losing the fob? Why aren't you telling me you need help? And then I raise my voice about it, and then all of a sudden I'm yelling at people. And then people are like, well, he's he's always yelling. It's like, dude, just fucking tell us if you're losing a fob. And I don't like Doc's like gone off at me before, but like don't. Fucking say something back to him. Tell him to fuck off. Hey, He'll be like, oh, please. man. Hi, Ruby. And then after the game, talk in Discord about how you hate Dr. Hammer. Tell it to his fucking face, dude. Well, that's another thing, is that, you you know, people will say all this stuff, and then I, no one ever comes and, like, has a conversation with me after no. a game. Because it's, you know, in the middle of the game, in the middle of a competition, I'm not going to stop and have a conversation and ask you how, you know, how is your wife doing? Do you want to have those conversations with people, Doc? Of course. I love talking to people. I'm a nice guy. Dude, if people came in here and talked to us, they would probably think a lot differently. Like, 90% of the time, it's when we react to something, because people come at us all the time. But it's like, whatever. If you just came in here and hung out, you'd have a great time, guaranteed. I've been, in the, office. Squad, baby. I've been in the office for about four months now, and over the times of people that have, we've had disagreements with, on our server when we're moderating the server... Like, um, people, like, will say, come in the Discord, come talk to us. And, like, of, like, the seven people that actually took us up on the offer, like, five of them came in and we had a perfectly pleasant conversation. They said, oh, you know, we it was just a misunderstanding. We talked to them and we were able to work it out. Like, being, it, the toxicity is a meme. Like, we're perfectly reasonable people. There's no reason we can't have conversations about these things, like adults. Yeah, well, and the, th and the thing is, I think people get Discord pretty confused. Because in Discord... People love to joke around and, and you know, quote unquote meme. So we're talking when with chat, to, it, right? Chat Discord with, we're talking just, about. Just, just, just texting chat. Yeah, just it's, texting. Always yep. it's always yep. text. Or typing. It's always text. Okay. But when it comes to sitting down and actually speaking to somebody, I think it's a whole different thing, in my opinion. Um, because in Discord, it's just, you know, it's banter and, and having, you know, just joking around. 
Yeah, like, but when you when you come into TeamSpeak or Discord or whatever VoIP you use and actually just sit down and actually talk to somebody and maybe play a game of squad with them or whatever it is um, with a group of people, it's, in my opinion, it's a completely different thing. And people can, you know, and check and, you know, disagree with that all they want. But in my opinion, uh, when I actually get to speak to somebody outside of a competitive match, it's a, you know, it's there's a lot more there in my opinion i think the people you know taking things out of context and discords and the memeing and discords is like 99 percent of why we're even doing this right now people get so offended over that is is, is confusing to me yeah so like kudu and chat 90 percent of doc's office is garbage you, I'm, I'm i'm not great. offended <laughs> great it's like i'm not it's great you know, i'm not thanks for here. the input dude thanks for the adult input <laughs> well i mean it's who cares i mean it's just like you know whatever i, I don't yeah, sit here and, yeah, and just, uh, dwell on it for 30 minutes and then ban ban ffo from our discord i don't i don't give a shit Cop i just say tech if i mean the thing is is you just just talk to each other and and, and it's a completely different thing in my opinion i i love um, having conversations with people and banning a whole community from reddit not just ours but iskt and ffo if anything ffo has has been ex dealing with this stuff for longer than we have um it's just i don't i don't get it i don't understand it i don't understand why um someone would care so much to ban a whole community because of a couple of people yeah, every single because person has that voice, you know. Well, it's because we are now the pantomime bad guys, aren't we? Everyone needs someone. We're the to Miami, rally Jam uh, Miami against. James. We're the LeBron, LeBron James on Miami. Yeah. I don't know. Sports reference in there. Or something no, no, it makes it makes sense. A lot of people hate LeBron James. Why? Why do people hate LeBron James? Because he's good. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's it's true. So I'm going to take it just a second here, guys. I just want to make sure that the... Um, so things are getting a little out of control in chat. This is what it is. It was always going to happen. Dude. Well, but it's, it's gone completely off the rails. So yeah. we're going to just I'm implement sorry. a new respect rule. No, uh, no, 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 no. Let him. Nah, it's getting, it's this fine, is just getting dude. weird. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, it's, 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 it's Johnny, subscriber it's mode only, you Johnny. Just let it you happen, can make some money out too. Uh, well, we'll I just let it let it go. We'll see what's opinion. going on. This uh, this um, school shooting stuff can stop though. We can stop oh, that. I didn't, I didn't see. That. Yeah, that's there's some stuff. That weird thing is, is like what it's turned into is all this infighting. Like what what is happening, I don't guys? I don't understand. I just don't understand what's happening. It's like everybody's fighting with everybody. We got there's some beef with Kudu going on, which I'm like, I just don't understand what's happening right now. To be honest, I, I, don't I don't have know. I don't have any beef with Kudu. I, I really Same. don't. I really don't have any beef with anybody. I like Kudu. So I don't, I don't really I don't really dislike anybody at all. Hey, Karma Cut. I don't like him, but um, I don't I don't I I like everybody in the squad community, even if they dislike me. I doesn't mean I dislike you back, at all. At all, at all. Um, people have said some seriously, and I'm sure you know it goes both ways. But people have said some seriously sh shitty things to me. I don't dwell on it. Um, I always give other people the benefit of the doubt. I understand why they're mad, but I, I don't. I don't ever care. You can ask these guys. There's been plenty of people that have hated me. Um. Then they would turn around and ask me to play with us, and I'd say sure. I would never, ever, I, I've never said no. And you could, I mean, Robin Sage is a perfect example. He's a perfect example. He played a scrim with us. I yelled at him for muting TeamSpeak. Went and talked to FFO. FFO didn't let him play with him came back and asked me to play with us. I said, sure. I never said no. I didn't say anything. I said, the first thing I said was, okay, that's fine. I don't ever hold a grudge, except it's Karma Cut. I, I don't like him at all. Um, so I, when people like hold these grudges and, and they're, you know, shit talking and, and 
blah 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 it's whatever you know I, yeah i just thought it ended at the it. end of the game right i thought it was just Ex exactly that's how i always perceived it you know you're placing down a bad fob i'm gonna get on you for placing a, f a bad fob because it's a bad fob i'm not gonna sugarcoat it and say hey you know hate to tell you but you know the fob's a little misplaced buddy if you could please dig that up and mo just move the fucking fob place it here it's much quicker and <laughs> and people just don't understand that and they get their feelings hurt well you can't sugarcoat everything what what so doc there are people here that are saying that you have a, a thin skin what would you say to that and a thin skin in what way well you're thin skin you can dish it out but you can't take it um i wouldn't say i wouldn't say it's that's true um I definitely get affected by it, but I, I don't really let it get to me in a sense. Um, I'm definitely a person, you know, I'm a human being. Um, there's definitely things that, that, you know, hurt me, but I don't really let it get to me. Mm -hmm. I just kind of brush it off. It may hit me for five minutes or so, but, you know, I just let it go. Um, I, I don't really take any things too personally. I just move on and play the game. Um, it's a comp game. Um, there's always really shitty things that are said, and I, at the end of the day, I don't really worry about it because we're just playing squad. Um, but as you can imagine, a lot of people know, when a whole community, um, hundreds of players, are targeting, and they're, they're deafening you and your, and your community, um, and you can't even speak back... Like on Reddit, people are there's someone called me a, a nutcase, and you can't even say anything back because you're banned, and they're letting it sit there. Like that's that's not okay. Um, that's ridiculous. Um, this shit like that, like I don't understand like why Reddit, how even the the, the devs even allow that to happen. Um, that's terrible. Um, and it's not just because it's me, but that that goes for anybody. Mm -hmm. um it's just it's just ridiculous i don't i don't it, understand it's it. against the rules to to like call out anybody by name but the uh the mods let it slide because it's because it's us so i guess that's that's one of the reasons like i guess um so i have my own personal feelings for you guys like i don't want to say that i'm def i don't feel like i'm defending you what i wanted to do is just give you an opportunity to talk because i feel like you've been silenced in other places I don't like some of the words that you guys use sometimes. I don't like the joking sometimes, personally speaking. Um, but at the same time, like, like you, to me, we all have this like emotional piggy bank, right? And you get to make withdrawals and you get to put in deposits. And yeah. so, like to me, like I just want to make sure that I fill everybody else's emotional piggy bank as much as I can. And that way, when I have when something bad happens, I've got some something there to withdraw from, so that hopefully. I don't like cash out and like, oh, there was all my emotional thing for the screw up that I did. And now I'm totally boned. Um, so I guess there was just something that came up about like that. This is a big defending thing. It's it's not really. It's just uh, again, I wanted an opportunity for you guys to be able to like I didn't feel like I had a voice and I still don't feel like I could talk about some of the stuff with Reddit. So I'm going to not say I'm not going to give my personal stuff on that, but um I'm not going to stop anybody else from talking about it. So I know Robin Sage, you were asking about that earlier. So that's to kind of to bring that up. I mean, I, I can, I can see, I get why people wouldn't like Doc or like Doctor's Office. I get it. I, don't, I think everyone here understands that. But like to just get, I don't know. Just like, how, how does it linger? Like, how do you? Dude, you don't like have disgruntled, to like, us, like, like disgruntled, here, let, like banned me, me from NAS. The next day, I was talk last night. I was talking to him about Netflix shows. Like I don't. I, th I think <laughs> a lot of the a lot of the frustration I think that the community feels with Doc's office is like when we're playing compet like when you're playing squad and you're and you 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 boot, you boot up the game and you're a squad leader and you join your squad one. You get three other squad leaders with no mics, and you've got like a sixty second window to organize a match. Get the goddamn people to back cap. Get the people to, to like to run the lodgies. Like we on our server messages as this is a server dedicated to high level play. So I think in the office we just made the decision that was how we wanted to run our server, and that's how we wanted to behave. So we don't tolerate squad leaders that can't that, that don't have mics that aren't capable of of making basic mouth breather decisions. Like if you can't if you can't jump in, you don't have any idea what you're doing. That's not what our server is for. 
and and we like we don't pull punches on that like you step onto it you have to be able to like put out we're the opposite of the playground exactly and, and we can't opposite. and that's that's how we've defined ourselves we don't we're not ashamed of that nor should we be Mm. This whole blanket banning thing is so fucking stupid. It doesn't solve anything. Yeah, man. the thing the thing is just ban me. You don't have to ban everyone else. In the that's that's my that's my problem with it. If Doc is the problem, if Doc if Doctor Bloody Fucking Hammer is the problem with all of you lot, if you can't stand him that much, just ban, ban me. Ban him and I'll squad lead every NAS. In like, <laughs> or Odie will do it. Someone much quotation marks karma will do it. Um, ban the selected people that. You feel like you need to to get them out of the way, but for the two games before you quotation marks kicked us out, we filled in nine extra guys for the rest of them because some of the clan couldn't be asked to show up for your precious NAS. So who filled in? Us. Um, yeah, and eight, we could still eight, do that eight, for you. Eighteen to twenty players for like three weeks. <laughs> and then, Not to mention uh, and doing after... strats. And and after that, I, just, I was, yeah, not to mention strats, hours upon hours of stratting. And I remember when I first joined NAS, the huge issue was that no one led a team. Remember that, Johnny? No one led a team. You, I remember this like clear as day. No one led a team. That was like the biggest issue with NAS that you and Hanek were like bringing up. Well, we we created the um the team chats from at that point. Like we were we were hoping that. Well, it was just so tough because everybody would come together and then, yeah, there was just, everybody was just like, well, I guess I'll do this and I guess I'll do that. And we, at the time we were just like, I guess that works, but it, it we, I mean, we wanted some higher level play. I mean, to be honest, but, um, yeah. And, and I remember you, that's you remember when, that though, yeah. Right? Oh yeah. 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 You and Hank, so we want, we want people to organize this more and we want it to be more competitive. I remember, I remember this being said and the first NAS I was a part of it was it was Fool's Road V3. We played with TA, uh, TBG, um, and Ragnarok. Remember, like it was yesterday. Fool's Road V3. I organized a strategy. I got a, had a meeting with all of the squad leads uh, three hours before the game, and I did that for every NAS I ever participated in. Mainly, maybe like exception with one or two. I don't think anyone else ever did that. And hours upon hours upon hours creating a strat for the whole team. Do you feel, Doc, that you deserve anything for that? I don't deserve anything. I don't. I don't think I deserve anything. I, I'm, that's not what I'm trying to get across. It's just like my intent is not to to uh, make people feel bad. So, what about people who like Peanut? In chat, saying that it, it's it's North American squad, it's not competitive. What do you what That's do you have to say to that? Game, dude. It's like, a competitive. We play it's a, to win. We wait, play why? To, when we get in pubs. Ever since like we've been pubbing, we've always played to win, no matter what. Like, no matter even what. Even if it's just a pub game, like. We That's what makes it's why why even do you work with why do you go camp, baby? We're gonna win that damn thing. Like, That's right. <laughs> why when you play a game of squad, why do you work as a team? Why do you why do you uh, why do you help your teammates? If you don't play the game to win and uh, to make the most out of teamwork, though, Nash what are you playing the place for? for you. Yeah, if, if you if, if, if you're if you're you playing play. if you're playing <laughs> squad and it's not a competitive game, you might as well just not help your teammates. Because the reason you help your teammates is because you want to win, not because you, you you go over their house every night and have a beer and you're good friends with them. You don't know who these people are. You help your teammates out because you want to win the game. And because you want to win the game, it's in its nature a competitive game. It doesn't make any sense for it to not be. There's two teams. One team has to win. And if nobody wants to win, you're going to lose. Um, there always has to be those people that want to win and will do anything to win, even if it means getting a little pissed off and, and creating a sense of urgency. Um, so, so something happened recently where it looks like that because uh, we're talking about North American squad just to get everybody that might be joining us here. Um, and by the way, we're talking with Doc Hammer, Odie, Rugby, Disco Lemonade, Don't Panic, My Frags Are Organic, Kip, and Thick Kevin uh, from the doctor's office. This is just a uh, just to kind of uh, an opportunity for everybody to kind of talk uh, because I I think Doc's right that we don't talk. A um, couple thanks for the follows. I did want to ask about talking, Doc. 
Did you talk to Disgruntled or has this been chat or have you like, cause that's what had happened, right? It was, or what, can you explain the situation? Uh, with Nass? Yeah. No, I've never, I haven't talked with Disgruntled once. He's messaged me a couple of times. I mean, do you, do you I, want and to? I, and I told, I've, I've set up a meeting at 8 PM. He, he wasn't there, so but he's, he's in Twitch chat right he, now. He's saying that you did talk multiple times. No, I've never had a voice conversation with Disgruntled once. So Not chat. Once. So maybe talking chat, means chat. chat. Chat, dude. Chat goes right out. I can chat with disgruntled over a couple of things, in a couple of sentences. You but unless out. you sit, unless you sit down and talk to somebody, that doesn't get anything accomplished, in my what, opinion. Do you want to try several times to have a, a voice conversation? If if it's always it's never happened. If we can organize something, we're we're not just going to do a dog pile here. If we be respectful and everything like that, would we want to? I mean, can we? Would you talk to him? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I talk no, to anybody. Man, we, I mean, we just people. we just had the conversation earlier. Like we yeah. can be adults about this. We're not children. We don't. Yeah. I mean, the Dude, post game chat last, is post game chat. I, I like, offered disgruntled. I said, "Hey, I have some ideas on how we can fix Naz and make it like a building thing for the community, and like basically get rid of like the toxicity, quote unquote." And make it something good. And and then I woke up this morning and the little NAS servers like uh, icons off my Discord because apparently I was banned overnight. So it's he like, he's saying he got called. He got he joined and he said he was he got called stolen valor. Does that Who sound cares? like? So somebody called uh, him. Does stolen valor have anything to do with NAS? Did somebody did did one of you I guys say it. that it, he got <laughs> stolen valor? I don't know if I don't know if anyone did or not. I didn't. And I, even I if, didn't. even doesn't if mean anyone, anything to me. Even if anyone did, as no. Oh, it was Robin Sage. Is Robin it's Sage part Robin of the doctor's now. office? He is. Okay. And Robin Sage, I guess, asked him who were spec ops or but something. But not that I, don't I, I don't know. But why it's, I but it's like irrelevant. I have to say this. Well, I don't know why I have to say this in case people aren't already aware that Robin's views don't reflect the views of the forty, fifty odd people in the office. Funnily enough. So good for yeah, him. We're, we're, been... we're all we're all our own people. When yeah. docs, I don't police anybody. I don't tell anybody how to act because I, I don't give a shit. You haven't got the right to. Uh, exactly. It's and not like, I, I tell the only thing I tell people to do is where to place a goddamn fob and where the infantry is going to be. It's as far that's, as it that's, goes. That's, that's all I do. So I don't tell people how to live their life. So yeah. Robin isn't here right now. Would you all feel comfortable? And I guess would uh, I mean I don't know if comfortable is the right word. Was everybody willing that if if Disgruntle wants to come on here, we can kind of talk things through? I don't care. Yeah, I don't have he a problem. With He's more than welcome. Does he have yeah. Does he have the link to the Teamspeak? It's in our Discord. Oh wait, he left our Discord. I'll PM it to him right now. On well, don't start it off like that, Doc. Let's. I will PM it to him right now. I like to hear this. Robin Again, is saying he didn't do it. I believe Robin over disgruntled this. Um, sure. Well, well, it's not about picket. It's just about listening right now, guys. It's not about yeah. believing. It's just yeah. about yeah. hearing both. From your channel. Here's the thing: like, does Nas still do? What's that? Game destruction. Mode? Destruction. Is that still do that? Oh my god! Don't sign me up for that shit. Yeah. No. I mean, that's. We can have this discussion. I don't really know if I want to play. Yeah, you know. Also, if this is a get, if I, I'm gonna agree with uh, Kudu says this is not a real interview. It's eight versus one. If if disgruntled hey, comes we, in we here, we can be quiet. We can shut the fuck up. We're yeah. not us shutting the fuck up. Like, well, we Kudu, I don't invite, you want to get Kudu in here too? Let's you make this a fucking power. We can yeah. all be quiet. We joined your channel. We can get in here. Bring him in. I just PM'd him more team speak address. Yeah, to it, be I, fair, it was, I would just it was him versus our entire clan with the ban blanket ban like. He made well, that decision by himself. I understand that, but I think that we're coming in on a neutral ground here. So what I would ask is everybody mute themselves for at least yeah, the first 10, 15 minutes that we can have a kind of a talk between, because it seems like there's, uh, so I see Don't Panic has muted himself. So um, that we, people don't have to leave the room or anything like that, but let's just be respectful. Odie, thank you. Um, and I guess Kudu says he's got nothing to add. But uh, I get we're just talking right now, so. Yeah, the Discord said he's coming. Okay. I would love if there's a way we could just because I have a feeling this happens at work all the time. 
where somebody said something in an email, and then it's just email, 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 and then as soon as you talk it through, it's like, oh, I guess we're actually not mad at each other. Like, oh my god, if we would have just done this four weeks ago. That's, that's See, Johnny, that's why I don't like really take Discord seriously, because I believe in talking to people. You know what I mean? Like having a sitting down and, and physically talking to somebody. I think hearing, it's, yeah. yeah, hearing the inflection in people's voices and going through a full conversation rather than two two lines of text, in my opinion, gets a lot more accomplished and can fully understand what they're trying to get across as opposed to texting or whatever can be interpreted in, in thousands of different ways. So I also kind of find myself in a really pickle of a situation because I actually like everybody involved here. Like, well, yeah. Uh, so I like Disgruntled. I like Kudu. I like Doc. I like you guys. I mean. But I think I can speak for like Disco and like Pip and Panic right now when I can say that we can quite happily mute and sit and listen because we're not that bothered. That's not what we're bothered about. Sure, so, sure. But I'm really, I, I don't give a pot. Nas was a nice little stepping stone for me and I'm done with, done with it and... Happy days if you guys... Oh, he's upstairs. Drag him in and we'll shut up. I, I'll there give him privileges. Yeah. User right. left your channel. Yeah, I'll give him privileges. User was moved <laughs> Just to your pull channel. him to the channel. User joined your channel. Everybody, welcome. Uh, disgruntled, disgruntled, welcome. How are you tonight? Uh, I'm doing okay. How's everybody else doing? Uh, I'm sure it's been a little like, what's going on? There's chat and blah. So I appreciate you coming in. Uh, I am... Uh, Okay. Cool. Well, as long it did the whole goal here is for everybody to kind of just feel comfortable. If at any time you don't feel comfortable, feel free to just kind of like, you know what, this is too much and we can talk another time or whatever is going on here. And um we're going to set some norms right here. We're going to try to avoid kind of attacky language. We're just going to come at it and just kind of maybe talk about our feelings and let each other talk and then kind of Make sure we could hear both sides of what's happening. Maybe some some things that are kind of nibbling at you, and and maybe take it from there. But um, disgruntled or Doc, I don't know who would want to kind of start off first here. I will. All right, disgruntled. Why don't you go ahead? So, uh, Doc, one of the things that uh, we've actually talked about in the past is growing a greater North American squad community, and. Uh, Kind of, I've told this uh, multiple members of yours, and I think I posted this in public forum, but uh, there is a reason why you were banned. And uh, personally, like, I don't think, I think this reason's obvious enough that I don't think I should have to defend myself, but I'm going to give you the common courtesy to do so. Um, I mean, we're talking about growing a greater North American squad community, and so far, User all I see nonstop is this, I don't want to use the word toxic, but all I continuously see is you bashing this person to the point of going into their Discord, following them all the way through to the point where they don't want to play squad anymore. I mean, this is supposed to be a game User, where we're having fun. Um, we're, you know, you're going into people like SCG. SCG had to go and form another event, a spinoff event with other members like AON and other members. I'm not going to call more people out, but they could not compete in NAS because people like you were being on them and members of your team were on them so bad that they didn't even want to play the game wasn't even fun anymore for them so looking at this objectively for the benefit of the community instead of the benefit of the whole of the few and i'm considering you the few in this case i had to make a decision and i contemplated that decision for two weeks uh we talked about this um quite frankly i kind of felt like you had left the community you've given up about the community you gave up on that showdown uh, for various reasons whatever they may be but uh the community wasn't going anywhere and uh, I'd like to also point out the fact that since I made the decision that I did banning you from NAS and uh, eventually having to blanket ban, unfortunately, the rest of Docs, due to the, the I don't want to necessarily call it hate talk, but, you know, things like Stolen Valor getting called a Nazi nonstop, uh, people trolling, putting on tags with my name, things like that. Uh, you know, it just gave me more ammunition to do exactly what I what I set out to do, which is build a better community. And we have more signups than we have in NAS in the last six weeks since I've done that. Okay. So, 
we weren't playing in NAS, right? So why would you publicly say that you're banning us? So we, we weren't were... we weren't playing in the event. Well, there were attempted signups for starters. Um, it's a lot easier, I think, to say, "Well, we weren't playing in NAS, so I took a step back," uh, and and that's and that. So why does it matter? Well, no, it does matter. You took one week off. Okay. No, I, I, we weren't playing in NAS. Your your members were still in the Discord, openly harassing other clans. So okay. there's the start there. Okay, so you can kick us from the Discord, but why would you publicly say we're banned from NAS? Because that behavior isn't tolerated anymore in a community that's going to grow. And you guys have played in NAS multiple times. Okay, what behavior? I, I think I pretty much made that clear. So, dis like, disgruntled real quick. This is John. In, in oh. what way? So, I will let Johnny talk. Yeah, real quick, real quick. So it sounds like, disgruntled, you were saying that, uh, so you, as a third party, you had to intervene because as a leadership person of North American Squad, um, you were hearing other clans that were having some issues. Is that what I'm hearing? I uh, I took two. I took a couple weeks, Johnny, and I spoke to as many clans that would be willing to talk to me. And there was one common connection that was spoken between the majority of the clans, and these were conversations that were done in confidence. So I'm not going to call them out. But uh, the common occurrence that I ran across was that people didn't want to play NAS because no matter what they did, they were wrong and they were subjected. Or if they played on Doc's team and they were squad leaders, all they heard was Doc screaming or all they saw was his guys or him trolling them after the match for okay. every wrong decision that they made. Yeah, how about how about you personally? Like I know that you have a leadership position within NAS. Um let's let's just set that to the side for a second cuz there's some different responsibilities that come with that versus how about disgruntled the man, the the squad leader, the sigma tack. What what about you personally? Uh well, so in this case I have, uh, pretty, for the most part, when, when playing with Doc, I have to admit, I'll be the first person to admit, he's good at the game. He knows what he's doing. Uh, I, I like to think that I'm also good at the game and I know what I'm doing, which is probably why we never clashed heads on a uh, on sure. a serious level. And if we ever did, I don't think it was anything ca uh, that ever went past, you know, me, tell me calling him out for it um, and him respecting that. Now, that being said, uh, there are times where mentoring is and trolling are two different things. So, for example, if I had observed somebody placing a bad fob in a bad place, I would have tried to have a conversation with that person and said, hey, man, like, just so you know, like that fob placement was, you know, maybe not ideal. Um, but what would have what I would have done differently is this and explain to him why instead of saying you're dumb, you're an idiot, mm -hmm. delete the game, whatever Whatever he normally says, which is sure. a lot of things, sure. um, it would have been handled much differently. Okay, so, so someone places a bad fob, and you're explaining to him all this stuff. You lost Mod's eye. Okay. And the amount of time that you're spending doing all of this, you're losing the game. It's a, yeah. You know what? In... Here's the cool thing about NAS. It happens every single week. Next yeah, week, there's another but game. In, but in NAS, players play to win. So the cool if thing someone, is... If someone is so doing something wrong, so, then so here's they, the cool they thing. should be corrected immediately. So, so here's the cool thing, Doc. Um, the way I view it is NAS happens every single week, right? We continue going on. It's a community. It's a place where we all enjoy to play. So here's a cool thing. I tell them after the game, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, not in a public forum where it looks like I'm attacking or bashing them, what they could have done to do better. Guess what? Next week, it doesn't happen because I approached them in a calm, cool, and collective manner like a man. And yeah, but man you lost man. the game you were in. Yeah, I mean, there's a game every single week. There's always another game to play in. Right, there's but, no you need lost, to... but that's the that's difference in thinking. I don't want to lose the game I'm playing. I want to win the game that I'm in. I don't, I'm not, the, looking, you know I'm not, I'm not hey, looking towards next week. I want to win the game. That is that is totally fine, Doc. Uh, so okay, great. That's so, the difference. Great, so exactly. That's a, it's totally fine. Can I, so can I, I don't finish have, talking I don't or are you just going to talk over me? I'm going to talk right now. Great. I want to win the game now. You want to win the game next week. I don't have time to sit there and politely explain to them why that was a bad fob because we're losing the game. That's why it's that's it's a competitive it's competitive. 
so here is exactly you know case in point why i made the decision that i did you're looking at it from a short term all i care about is winning the game i'm looking at it from a long term for the betterment of the north american community and that's what i'm here to do we're going to build a community we're going to rebuild a community i should say we're going to rebuild a great community and it's going to be better than it was before all right great trump but you're you're dividing the community by blanket banning a very large and good community and by good i mean probably better than all the other teams playing so how do you expect them to get any better if they don't play against better teams so i mean so here's the thing doc for starters this is kind of what everybody was talking about how you over talked to me right there and you just immediately tried to cut me off and you immediately go to name calling i want to note that um, and that's something that i take an issue with you know it's one thing to have friendly banter between people but to not allowing people a chance to talk and voice their opinions maybe they tried to explain to you why they play sad habit and maybe they had a different way of thinking maybe you could have learned something from that but you're too busy yelling at them to find that out yeah they can talk after the game during the game is not the time to talk at the end of the game they could say hey doc what why were you why why did you think that fob was bad well i mean that just you, kind am of over, i am i so, sitting if, if, if during the game comes, am i in squadly comms calling people idiots in the middle of the game no i'm not so why if, the fuck are you placing the fob there it's not doing anything move it so you you all the time though doc you can't say that during the game is not the time to talk yeah all the time you sit there and you scream at people in the middle of the game to the point where they can't even hear the other squad leads try to call something out or they can't even where, talk to their squad. give me give me one instance in nas where i'm sitting there screaming the only I, times i the only times i absolutely go ballistic is in pub games I, I mean, I have specific like examples the last, that can the, disprove that. The, okay, the, but the last time that I was quoted yelling was in uh, Gordok Destruction. And I was the most tame I've been in a long time. So, Doc, real quick, that, I'm going I'm to jump in here. Would you say, I mean, that there, there's that's definitely within your behavior to do so, however? Like, do you want to, do, do we want to kind of acknowledge... I don't, I don't, I don't like going ballistic and I don't ever, ever go ballistic. And I, I don't think I've ever went full on ballistic. Well, what's, ba what's, what's full on ballistic. Let's define what full on ballistic is. I would say just absolutely just raging hard. This, okay. Well, what's, <laughs> what's raging hard. Let's figure out what's raging hard then. The screaming at the absolute top of my lungs. Okay. So it's... top of the lung screaming, what kind of vocabulary? Just a lot of the f word. Okay, so a lot of, not, lot of, not moron. I don't think of, I've ever personally insulted anybody in NAS over I'm, squad lead comms ever. You don't think you've personally insulted anybody ever on squad lead comms during NAS? No, okay. not at all. Okay, I, th I would say the most ballistic I ever have been in NAS is on Logar V1 um, with armed and ready on our team. They said they were regrouping. What? What the fuck do you mean you're regrouping? Push to the goddamn flag. That is the most I've ever went ballistic in NAS. That's literally all I said. I have never called anyone an idiot or personally insulted anybody. So is that in NAS or is that like... NAS. Okay. In, for, in for, pubs, for, I've, so for pubs, pubs I've, I've, went, I've went absolutely ballistic. So you go... Before. Okay. So I just... Maybe that's a difference here. I mean, because of the fact that everybody's playing thousands of hours of squad. NAS is one and a half, two hours... And so maybe there's some bleed happening here. I just want to get some understanding. Another thing I want to kind of talk about. So I asked Disgruntled, I asked you to kind of um, talk about you on a personal level. And it sounded to me like you were kind of acknowledged that you guys were both pretty good at the game. And there kind of wasn't too much. I mean, it sounds like there might be a minor disagreement uh, on a personal issue on kind of how to handle coaching. Like, Doc, you sound very short term. Like, boom, now. I got to fix it now. Uh, well, the, the thing is, I'm not trying to coach in the middle of the game. Right, right, time to, it's, right. It's, you're it's, not, not. You're I'm not, yeah. I'm not coaching. I'm trying to win the game. So there it's is, like, yeah. It, it's like in a in a in a in a football game. In a professional football game, I'm not trying to explain to you what you could do better next game. I'm trying to tell you what play you should be making right now, because next week doesn't matter if we can't get into the playoffs. And yeah, absolutely. So that's it's the right now mentality. I think disgruntled yeah. very eloquently said, and I think he had a, a great. Um, another take on it, which is to do the coaching, like to kind of accept what's happening now, not really bring it up during the game, and then talk about it one-on-one -on -one after the game. That's kind of what I heard as two of the different things that were happening there. Would, would you kind of agree that's what we heard? 
I would agree. And I would say how much days are in between two NASAs? Six. You have six days to, to ex talk and explain and coach what went wrong in the NAS before. During the game is not the time, especially when you're trying to win a game. If you're sitting there talking for five minutes on why the FOB was bad and having a discussion in squad league comms, which it shouldn't be happening in squad league comms. Well, I don't think he's saying that, though. I didn't hear him say that. I heard him well, say it I, after I, the game. So, Well, he's, he was talking about coaching and, exp and, and, and explaining why this is maybe a bad FOB in the middle of a game. And uh, what I no, would have done differently. The game. After I, the game. Yeah, I heard, I heard after the game. Okay, I heard well, after the game. Regardless, if someone puts down a bad fob in the middle of a game, I am not wasting my time politely talking to somebody. Okay. I'm going to tell you to move it. See, you know, Doc, and I, and, you know, I can understand why that frustrates you. It doesn't frustrate Nas me. It's it, creating no, a it sense of urgency. It, no, it doesn't frustrate you and infuriates you. I think we all know that by now. But uh, here's the deal, man. Like, again, you're talking about a game. And I'm talking about a community. We're on two different pages, and that's why that happened. So, what, what do you? I mean, do you not want good players playing in in NAS? What do you, What do you want? So, here. So, okay. You want to build. You want to build the community, right? Great players play in NAS. Great players play in NAS. And here's a here's a beautiful but, thing. Here's a beautiful thing, Doc. Because I'm not going to let you over talk me again. So, NAS is a great and fantastic community. So NAS is a great and fantastic community where we get together weekly for a semi-competitive event to get to know each other, to have fun playing squad, to have fun playing squad, not to get yelled at, not to get berated. If you want to have the pro league, you have squad world cup. You had ISKT priorly. So you want to scream at people, save that stuff for the pro league. You want to have fun and then maybe just correct people's behavior afterwards. But on a scream, nice one -on -one scream level. at people where? I haven't screamed at people in NAS. I have lightly raised my voice. <laughs> Doc, I'm going to I'm gonna laugh at that for a second. <laughs> please give me an example where I screamed your in NAS. Level, your level of lightly raising your voice is different than every other person I have ever met. 99% of please the time give me you an example sound like one of my NAS. drill instructors screaming at me in boot camp, which isn't what I came to play squad to so do. What, so why are people's feelings getting hurt about that? Why can't you just do the correct thing? It's, it's you know, why, it's, why, it's not why, even why, about why feelings people, getting hurt. Why are people it's about getting making... so bent out of shape about me telling you to move a fob? So it's not even about people's feelings getting hurt. What it's about is about ruining the experience and not even making the game fun anymore. And that's what Squad was here to do. Squad was here for people to be able to play the game and have fun. I doubt anybody at OWI made this this game and they said, oh my goodness, this has to be the absolute, everybody has to be perfect. If they don't, we're going to get them out of here and they're not going to have fun. No, the members of OWI, they filled in a critical gap between battlefield and what was previously a big game project reality and squad did a fantastic job of doing that and it filled a lot of people's you know fun and everybody wants to have fun but if they can't have fun to the point where they don't even want to play the game anymore and if there's a problem that is happening within multiple actually with within the majority of the community and that problem all stems back to one person and that one person says well everybody else is the problem it's not me there's a it's, problem there's, there the thing is though we don't even play in the in in the uh, event anymore not because right, we were I banned, banned. No, 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 because I stopped playing in it. There's there, okay, so for starters, so you can say you stopped playing me, in it because there was a break. Let, let him so finish. Let break. him finish, Doc. There was a break where people didn't where nobody played. Not just you didn't play. Nobody played. There was a break and there was a rift in the community where people weren't signing up because they didn't want to get yelled at by Dr. Hammer and they didn't want to get trolled at by Dr. Hammer's guys. And I've talked to a few of your members and I've actually I've even talked to you about this specifically. You have in never a... talked to me. You okay, have messaged that's, that's me fine. on Discord. That's fine. We can yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So I messaged so I it's, won't use the phrase talk. I'll yeah, use it's the chat. phrase message. On a, yeah, there's chat on Discord. There's a text chat on Discord. Okay. 
fine. We'll use the term chat, whatever you want to call it. But I chatted you and I can pull. I actually went back and reviewed this before I even made any type of decision. Because I, I thought about this for a long time because I just wanted to be clear that I didn't want to ban anybody. Because I, I, I feel like there's such a strong statement to make and it's something that can have the potential to have irreversible damage on any type of community. And it's, it should be the very last step, the, the very last you know, broken arrow if, for those of you that were in the army. That's what you do. So in this regard, I actually reviewed it and I actually even at one point in time chatted keyword chat with yep. you no that's good i'm glad i i honestly feel like there's a huge difference because i feel right now real quick disgruntled just to jump on what you're saying because i don't want it like there's a, a real big difference between chat and voice because i feel like you guys are actually getting like yeah we might still disagree but oh my gosh i feel like there's so much more progress happening right now than this passive aggressive chat that can happen sometimes so i want to applaud both of you guys for talking in and uh, disgruntled. I know it kind of feels, maybe not intimidated. It would be for me. I would say I would feel intimidated coming in here. I'm not saying you are, but joining somebody else's team speak and getting in here. So I just want to say thank you for coming up here. But um, but yeah, I think the voice versus chat real quick as a, as a sidebar conversation, not to throw this whole thing off whack. So where, w when did you communicate to me about what you were going to do? Why? Why would I communicate to you about what I was going to do? All your guys, all know. your guys, maybe, maybe. all your guys did after what I after I made that decision. All your guys did is they turned into what they what half of them do on a daily basis on Discord, and they troll people. Maybe they because make people it not want to have fun. Our, maybe it involves the entire team. Why would you so not are, communicate are you individuals that to me? or your team? Because earlier you said you're individuals and everybody's their own. Now you're saying you're a team. Which one is it? Why can't we be individuals on a team? Because there's no I in team. Of course there is. I think we're getting a little semantics this here, this guys. Is, this is ridiculous. What, why would you not talk or communicate what you were going to do to any of us? Why wouldn't you have a discussion and say, hey, Doc, you know, this is what I'm thinking. You know, what are your thoughts on this? Because it, it would have been received just as negatively as if it no, did after no, the fact. No, it would not have. <laughs> disgruntled oh, i will yeah. i will say real oh, quick i will say real quick though like when it comes to the coaching and mentoring thing that we were talking about previously it does stand kind of antithetical to it, what you're what you're describing now so i guess i do see a little bit of disconnect but even before that what i also see doc is that there are people that feel more comfortable talking to disgruntled than coming to you directly i mean what if if if, if these people came to you and said doc i don't like it when you yell at me what what is your response to that they say hey you know what doc i don't like being yelled at in my games you know what um i'm johnny omaha from swift knight clan and i really don't like you telling me that my fob's in a bad spot i kind of just want to have fun during nas and if we're on a team again please don't do that wait so what are you asking me what i would say yeah i'm just saying like that i mean because that that happened would... to participate all this other stuff if someone actually approached me about it and said that to me, then I would explain to them why I was on them and what my intentions were. How? How would you? Would you be yelling at them still or would you be talking to them? I would be talking to them. He, To I've be fair, disgruntled, he hasn't, I, I haven't heard, I haven't heard Doc get yelly at, at anybody here right now. And I, and I don't think you've been yelling at him and he hasn't been yelling at you. So I mean, I see this being the doc out of the game well i mean so so i even if you just even if game, so. even even if you just went to me and said hey doc i'm I, i'm thinking about banning your guys from nas because i'm trying to get numbers back up i would be like, that's fine whatever we don't even play in it anyways well but let's let's not just sweep that under the rug like let somebody wants let's say one of the the um disgruntled is saying multiple clans and we obviously want to respect, you know, as leadership, he's not going to name names or anything like that. But if these clan members, you know, came to you instead and they had this conversation and like, cool, you, you explain why. Yeah, I get why I get I put the fob in a bad spot or you feel that I put the fob in a bad spot. I'm asking you, please don't yell at me in the game if we're on a team again. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. Can you? But, I mean, uh, but the thing is, you, the hang thing, on. The, I want to ask you a question. Is, let me talk. Okay. 
But the thing is, is that I don't yell at people in NAS. I've, I've maybe raised my voice and, and have been frustrated. But I don't think I've ever explicitly uh, got on somebody in an aggressive tone in NAS. I've maybe said, just go, just go, just go. Or hey, what are you doing? Like the only time I've ever ever done that is maybe against Armed and Ready on Logar. And I think what these clans are seeing are in pub games, maybe. So real real quick, Doc, before I hand it back over to Disgruntled to, for him to kind of respond to that, I will say that it, while that may not be your intention, that you personally don't feel that you've, you know, I'm not yelling, I am not raising my voice, there might be an intensity or there's also, you know, your intent kind of it doesn't matter if the other person interprets what's happening as yelling and maybe maybe there's an amplification of the scenario i mean just things to consider that um you know before i let disgruntled or not let but before i pass it over to disgruntled here so i'm i'm definitely hearing what you're saying where you personally don't feel that you're raising your voice um and i believe that you i believe that i believe you don't feel that you're raising your voice and you don't feel that you're doing those things i believe that that's how you feel I, I just want, I just want to win the game, and if it if I need to create a sense of urgency in a game, I'm going to do it. Like the biggest mistake that people make in squad is that they're lackadaisical. That there's no urgency. Somebody's got to create a sense of urgency, otherwise you're just going to lose. Like losing is not fun. No one wants to lose. Like it, just because everyone's have I don't no one I don't have fun losing. Sure, sure. So everyone just wants to have fun. What are you going to do? Have fun losing? No thanks. Well, well. So here, here's the difference, though. Like getting everybody, annihilated. Ev it's not everybody, fun. everybody else can seem to have found a way to have fun while playing a game, win or lose. Everybody has seemed to be able to find a way to have fun, and somehow. It, you know, it maybe it just doesn't work with your personality. You know, that's fine. But at some point, you have to realize that you also have to respect the fact that, that you're the minority in that belief and the majority was having issues with you. And my right. whole point. Right, and I left NAS. You left NAS, whatever. So I, Exactly. Okay, so fine. I left NAS. What, whatever. May, okay, whatever. Did, you can you, say you left NAS. Discredo, do you feel that he did not leave NAS? Because you're saying whatever, which makes me feel that you don't feel that what he's saying is true. I, I mean, I left the Discord and said that I wasn't going to play NAS again. So is that is that not true, Disgruntled? Do you think that there's more to it than that? I do. I do. So, but, I mean, well, I don't what did, think let's, we'll let's, get anywhere. Well, let's just quick we'll, talk about it. So I don't think we'll get anywhere with the conversation because the part of the problem is is that what I've seen here is Doc likes to refer to his team as a group of individuals or to, refer, or to refer to his team as a full team that affects everybody depending on which way the conversation benefits him or not. So uh, his team did not leave NAS. Maybe Doc did. I'm not there. I'm, I wasn't there. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to it. If he did specifically, if he did, good for him because he gave up showdown. Doc, are you uh, talking? Never... Are you talking that you individually left NAS or the entire doctor's office left NAS? Because that's we what... were not participating in NAS anymore. When you say we, what do you mean by we? Our team. Doctor's office was no longer participating in NAS. That is correct. Okay. We didn't sign up for any more NASs, and I told Backpack we're not playing in NAS because we have ISKT to worry about. So I don't see why we'd get banned unless someone's just trying to get teams to come back and play to have like a public announcement saying, yeah, Doc Office is not playing in NAS anymore. You guys are free to come back. They're banned. The bad guys are banned. I mean, we weren't playing anyways. I don't understand why you could have said, yeah, Doc Office is just not playing in NAS anymore. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I spoke into Doc, which, you know, would have been a lot better. But ban us, we're not even in the event anymore. It just looked like a public bash to get get an edge uh, to, quote, unquote, uh, get teams back. Disgruntled, was it a public bash to get teams back? Not at all. I mean, it just through. So, so here and here's how this started, Johnny. I'll give you the play by play. 
So first of all, I uh, I went through and as as much as I tried to moderate the the NAS Discord, it wasn't working. Uh, there are times where I had uh, actually even taken down channels and put them back up, um, just due to the fact that it just people were just what kind of behavior what kind of behavior were you seeing on there? Uh, personal insults, uh, unnecessary trolling. I mean, just straight up griefing people just because they don't like them. Was it and, and th- okay? Did go it go? Ahead, did it go both ways? Well, I mean, so let me ask you this, Doc. I go into your Discord and I get called and I get called Stone Valor. How do you expect me to respond? I'm talking about the NAS Discord. I'm yeah, I know, and I'm using an analogy. Okay, with you my own. To, you don't you don't you need to use an analogy. You're talking well, about we're talking about. Well, NAS. Let, let's quick real quick. Yeah, was it going both ways in the was NAS it going Discord? Both ways. I, I don't necessarily. I wouldn't necessarily say if it was going both ways. So here's what I'll say: is it was started by Docs guys, and I expect who, people uh, who cares to defend. Who, hang who on, cares hang it, on. You, I, so I, I let, let, let him, let him, let him, let him finish, talk, Doc. Let him finish. I let you talk. I expect you to give me the same respect. Well, we we got this disc. We're just okay. Let's let's not go there. We're just it, we we can get passionate and heated. We'll, we're we're trying to take turns. So, if somebody gets called, whatever you want to insert insult here. If yep. you, if you get insulted. I would expect just about anybody, unless you're, unless for whatever re- for whatever reason, I would expect somebody to want to defend themselves with that. And you know what? And at that point, I really don't care. You know, if somebody's defending themselves, who's the instigator? And the instigator, again, common denominator, came back to you and your team. Okay, so what about Cog saying, you know, I can't take, you know, Doc yelling. Well, uh, office is so toxic. Is that they're not, not a, wrong? A, Okay, that's your opinion, though. The opinion but is that, the is, that, is that is that is that not an insult? Is no, that not, a, is that not starting something? It's a statement. You you just said. Oh, hang on, hang on. What? Before you before you talk before you talk, you just said earlier in the stream that you're memeing and all the stuff you guys do. That that is you and how much you enjoy it and all this stuff. When and, and now you want to, You guys said it earlier in the stream. We can play back the video once it's done. If Johnny posts it, we, we can review it if you want. We said it was we were just bantering in a Discord. Well, and this, it, it this goes, it yeah. NASA's a Discord. NASA well, this, has a Discord. This goes back to chatting versus talking, guys. So, like, this is why I don't place a lot of value in chat anymore. Like, if... I, I would love that everybody that felt offended could actually just get in here and we hash it out. But, like, because... I don't know. Because now we're just kind of nitpicking, right? Like, who started who first and whatever... But ultimately, I think, you know, we definitely wanted disgruntled. You you kind of had um, a s- little skin in the game here. And we were talking about NAS and there's two sides to every story. And um, yeah, it sounded like uh, was there. I'm just trying to figure out where we go from here. I mean, is this. The NAS attendance is up six times and, you know, that. That seems like quite an accomplishment. I don't know where I mean, to... it, it is. I mean, I mean, it absolutely is. I mean, the I, I think a, a, a just a testament to and, and again, like, and I just want to like put this out there. Like, I didn't like having to do what I had to do. It, it was more of a terms of it was community versus. I, I had to make a decision for what I felt was a community versus personally what I wanted to do because the last thing I wanted to do was to ban anybody outright from a community because what is a community? A community is a collective group of people going for a common goal. Sure. Yeah, um, and f- without conversation with us at all. Would you Would you be – all right, well, how about, how about this? Just like this, we're doing this now, Disgruntled, would you guys be willing to at least talk? Like would could you guys do this but with just the people and then – you guys can figure it out and and realize that, yeah, maybe the Discord got a little rowdy, and we all acknowledge that. But I mean, or is it just done? Like, are we really gonna just throw in the towel over, um, over some over some heated Discord stuff? I mean, th- this 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 decision wasn't wasn't made lightly it wasn't made over the night it was made over the course of two weeks um and, and unfortunately at the time I, I had some very unfortunate consequences that i had to weigh out um including <coughs> sorry excuse me 
including their potential of personal attacks against me, personal attacks against my clan and my clan affiliation, personal attacks against the uh, members of NAS, which is exactly what happened, which is exactly what I didn't, why I didn't notify you, Doc. It's because I didn't want that to happen. And, uh, and in the end, it didn't did. want what to happen. Everything I just listed before. But, There's uh, personal, the end, personal attacks against NAS. Personal attacks against. Uh, if it's gonna happen, if it's gonna happen anyways, why not try and talk before? It's. I mean, it's just. I mean, your, your, it's logic, just as easy your logic. To, your logic's just not sound. In your mind, but in the community's mind, it was, and it worked because all these clans signed up. Oh, so great! You have all these clans signed up, but you didn't mend the NA community. If I may interject for just a just a quick moment. I think some of the frustration on our side, Disgruntled, is coming from the fact that we're dealing in such nebulous terms that aren't concrete in any way. So you're making an awful lot of claims about an awful lot of things with no proof. And one of the things you put on the message that banned us, blanket banned us as a community, mind you, is that Doc wasn't, po quote, policing his community. And then I, I would just like to push the question to you, like, what do you see as clan leaders' roles? To, uh, are all clan leaders to hold their clans are they to police the behavior of every single member in every discord like it wasn't even our discord it was the nas discord i mean do you see your role as, as the police uh, of the nas discord and 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 what level of moderation do you deem appropriate have you had conversations with communities about this like i guess the thing that's frustrating is like uh, casual memes in the nas discord like why are we like where's the line being drawn why is the line being drawn like it's it's a little frustrating because you're making an awful lot of claims with no proof, with no like no screenshots, six times enrollment that you've had previously. Like sounds great, we'd be happy because NAS like North American Squad doing good is is good, but it's like a little confusing for us because we're dealing in such nebulous terms that have no con they're not they're not grounded in any way. So, you can so, so I do expect clan reps and NAS to police their members. In fact, what I posted in lounge earlier today. In fact, when I posted in NAS earlier today, I uh, I tagged. I you know what? Sorry, wrong window was up. Uh, so I I do one hundred percent expect uh, clan members to or well, clan reps and clan leaders to police members in the NAS Discord. And here's why: regardless of whether you wear tags, you choose not to wear tags. Your team, your clan. This is what I am going to one hundred percent admit to 100% hold everybody accountable to regardless of who you are you represent your clan and you represent your team as soon as you throw on those tags or as soon as you join that team so what I posted today in North American squad and unfortunately you're gonna have to take me on my word or get a screenshot from somebody else that's in there but uh, tagged everybody posted it in lounge and I, uh, I said, I expect members of your community to be respectful. I'm not saying that there can't be banter, but there is a line where it becomes more than that. And that is something I should not have to draw. We're rebuilding NAS as a great community. I will not let the actions of a few threaten that. I think I've made that clear. So you expect everyone to, to police their team at the same in the same way, correct? Well, and real real quick, Doc, before – I just want to make sure disgruntled so – there... Oh, to one second here. Um, so – the are you comfortable disgruntled rugby got a got a, a chance to get in here and i, I don't want to um shut these guys down and stuff but i want to make sure that you feel comfortable that we wanted to have a kind of conversation between you and doc hammer do you feel comfortable taking fielding questions from anybody else or is it going to kind of feel like kind of a gang up situation or what do you how, how do you want to handle that disgruntled no, I don't feel intimidated. I intimidate other people. Okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying intimidating. I just want to make sure that uh, it's it's all it's all good with you. So it sounds like from what you just told me that you're okay fielding questions from people that aren't just Doc Hammer in the room. Is that is that my understanding? Yeah. Okay, great. Awesome. Sounds good. Uh, and again, people are asking, what's the point? What's the whole goal here? The whole goal here is just that we just talk. So there really is no like crazy end goal here. So if that's what you're waiting for, we're just kind of getting to some things out and you know sometimes families they just have to talk things through so and who knows what's going to be the outcome from it might be good might be bad whatever i will say i do want to commend everybody for at least showing up and talking and getting we're all passionate about the game and we love this game and so anyway before we got into it i just wanted to make sure that uh you were okay with with fielding any other questions from people and rugby thanks for being respectful in the way you're talking um and then 
ultimately, too, I did the only thing I wanted to ask about, and it looks like maybe you did link it already. Some of these personal attacks, I just I would be really interested in, um, you know, that these there's proof there's proof on that. I guess. Can so. I, can I can I comment on something here, Johnny? Absolutely. Are you are you streaming this team speak right now? I. Uh, yeah, I thought you knew that. Well, no, no. Are you streaming the like the actual screen of the uh, team speak? I know the audio is going through. I was uh, I was I was listening. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This Jim had left early. Oh, it looks like this. there's yeah there's yes. I am streaming the team speak. It looks like there's okay chat on okay, the bottom so there as well. Some of the some of the things that I've uh, some of the things that you know talked about personal attacks. I think uh, I think the evidence is uh, proof is in the pudding. <laughs> the name of the channel above us has been changed to Stolen Valor Claims after I bring it up. Okay, no, so it's a who... person. It's not a channel name. It's a person. Okay, a person changed their name regardless. No, you can't so you... hold a whole team responsible for one person trying so to do one thick, thing. So thick, thick, Kevin, and and I I appreciate you chiming in here, but uh, that brings me back to my point: as you guys either like to refer to yourself as a team, or you can refer to yourselves as an individual. I said, but you only like to do it when it but benefits you. So which one are you? Are you a team or you're an individual? It's not us putting labels no. on anything. That's you putting a label on us. We're not asking to put labels on anything we're doing. That's you. But Doc just did it earlier. He's no, first he said context, you guys are a team and you represent everybody, and then he yes, says you guys are in, a group of individuals. In context to a question that you had asked him, but we don't walk around saying, hello, we're individuals, or hello, we're a team. We'll respond when someone asks us in context to what you're asking. It's irrelevant, dude, is what I'm trying to say. It's irrelevant. There are two people that may be Mimi, if you like, maybe Trolley, but you should go and you should talk to them and you should ban them and we will not complain. Because, okay, maybe you were right, dude. Cool. Police the people. Don't ban a whole clan. What have I ever done to you, dude? What have I ever done? And now I can't go on a nasty Discord anymore. It's... It's over-exaggerating a point. You don't have to get along with this guy who changed his name when I team speak. You don't have to like him. You obviously have beef. Ain't nothing to do with me, bud. Ain't nothing to do with me. So why should we, and the people who have never commented on anything, suffer? By being blanket banned. So I think I addressed that a little bit earlier, and uh, I, so I a couple of things. I had uh, I had asked uh, Doc earlier if he's going to police his members, and uh, if you've never done anything, then why are you wearing sick tag tags going around in other discords? I'm who cares? Not. I'm not though. Who cares? You have their screenshots, and Doc, you saying who cares? Just who cares? These, again, there's more reasons to why. Why I does did that? This. Why does that offend you? Why does that offend me? Because it's something that you have to earn through SIG tag. It's not something for you to go around and troll people with. And when you troll people with our tags, it hurts our community because people think that you are a member of SIG tag. And if people think you're a member of SIG tag, it's going to hurt my rep. Furthermore, it's respect. Kevin, did you did you put SIG tag tags on in Discord? For, yeah, for about five, ten minutes. And, okay. And then the joke passes. It was funny. And then the joke no longer sticks around. And did I... Yeah, if I was, if I'd gone around on Discords claiming to be a Sig type player, did you? That's, that's bad. No, no, no. Okay. That's what I'm saying theoretically, that's bad. That's not cool. That's 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 lying. That's lying, right? And we're not liars. Um, Multiple people, brother, for example, also threw on Sig yeah, tactics. I'm not brother, <laughs> and neither that's, is that's Kevin, and neither is Odie, and neither is anyone else that isn't brother. That's what I'm trying to get across. Like, you... you and I have never spoken before this moment before. You've never tried to rationally speak to me, yet you've banned me from something that I was quite involved in. Kevin, do you uh, think you it was... Do you... Sorry to interrupt. Do you think That's it was right, appropriate go. to put on Sigma Tac tags in Discord? No, of course not. But then do I think it's appropriate for them to come in here into our Discord? Sorry, not into Teams, but into our Discord and, and instigate an argument? No. So you get what you give. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I let let me let me put this to you, disgruntled. If your goal is to grow NAS, to grow the North American squad community, do you think an appropriate response is to come with such a wide net to ban a whole community like this? If you're because, I mean, the reason the people that are listening to this chat right now and the people that are in the team speak, uh, we're here because we care about this game and this community to varying degrees. So, like, do you think? casting as wide and as you did 
is healthy for the net health of the game. And also, I mean, like, you haven't even banned me yet because I don't even, I'm not even in there. But I, I'm a doc office clan rep still in NAS. I mean, what are you, are you going to ban me after this conversation because I'm still in there because you forgot about me because I don't ever go on it? You know, like, if, if your stated goal is growing the community, do you think cutting out such a section of it is really beneficial for the net health? Well, part of a community is a community effort. Community reps should uh, assist in policing the community members. Fuck. If uh, part of a community is a community effort, community reps need to assist in policing their communities. Mm -hmm. If I, as a NAS organizer, have to police everyone, then it becomes a full-time job. At the end of the day, Doc and the majority of his team's contribution to NAS made m more work for me to keep it together. Mm -hmm. Did, so, just, Grunle, just so I understand, so you kind of came to a point, it was a boiling point, and you're like, ah, oh, I just have all these things and all these, and I'm just going to ban them. And, it, and you had thought... Uh, and I, I know that there's going to be a big pile of doo-doo at the end of this, so I'm not going to tell them. I'm just going to do it because if I tell them, the doo-doo is going to be even bigger. And so I'm just, I mean, is that kind of the, the what had happened with the NAS story? No, it is not. So, okay, okay. Then I, I apologize. Can you kind of... You know what? Let's, let me, let me take a step back here. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, Johnny, let me, let me talk here. Let me look into Discord. Okay. There seems to be some people that haven't gotten a chance to read this yet and haven't had a chance to, to learn about this. So I'm going to uh, when you I'm say this, recap. when you say this, what are you talking about? I'm going to go back to where this started. Kind of when we're talking about the um, the rift with Doc's office and, and NAS, is that what we're talking about? Um. Just go to what you called the boiling point, and it, it sure, should answer sure. a lot of the questions you just asked me. Okay. Uh, just so we kind of get an understanding what happened and and um, kind of the the dominoes that were set up before knockdown. Sorry, I have to. Uh, unfortunately, I have to scroll through a lot of trolling to get to where I wanted to get because sure. I didn't actually. Uh, I didn't actually ban everybody off the start either. I, uh, I started with what I viewed as the uh, the problem children, and as more of them popped up, the more of them got banded. Which, Rugby, to answer your question, is why you haven't been banned yet. So, bear with me, because this is a paragraph. Uh, but I've debated these hand these issues at hand immensely. This is a choice Don't worry, I, I just want to make. It. it has come to my attention. Th What's up? That's Tweet. all good. Wait, why, Don't worry, why, I just left. Feel free to why, continue. Why, why are we? Okay. Why are you reading this? Everyone's I mean, seen this. I because you know not everybody because Johnny asked questions. Right, we'll so I'm letting everybody see this, well, especially I've, since I've, there's people on the stream that yeah. may not have seen this. Okay, okay. go ahead. Uh, it has come to my attention that attendance has dropped due to certain members of the community. I spoke to those members over the course of two weeks while I contemplated my options. I had hoped that there was a civil solution that allowed me to solve this through discussion. A member of our North American community has been able to ruin the experience for all. This member was supposed to bring us together and walked out on his own solutions. North American Squad is a cum cum cumulative group of clans that get together and have fun and semi-competitive gameplay once a week. Anyone who threatens this must be dealt with. My only regret is that it took a first-class event to come to the point of breaking to stand up to that i've tried to be diplomatic in my solutions unfortunately i failed this leaves me with the choice of drastic measure or allowing a community to fail this is not an indefinite decision but for the time being until improvements have been shown i'm barring doctor's office from nas events and discords please know that i never hope to ban somebody the consequences of this are to be put on me solely i truly hope the decision can assure the clans who previously left or were on the fence about returning know that NAS truly wants to grow the community. Now, I also want to be clear that all other clans are welcome to sign up, whether you have 20 people or two. Let's mend the NAS community and get some games going once again. So when you asked if this is permanent and I want to just leave it behind and put it to bed, uh, at the time of posting last Thursday, I did not. Um, at this point, um, I have yet to see any type of growth or any type of commitment from Doc saying, yeah, sure, I'll start policing my members and yeah, we can clean this up. Um, and until I see that, uh, yes, this decision is going to hold. Um, but is this final once and for all? No, I'm a reasonable guy. And there are some things that I ask for. And if those things can be shown, and there's truly improvement, and there's people willing to truly change, then absolutely. But I don't think Doc's willing to go down that road. 
well, let me jump in for just another minute. Like, uh, disgruntled. I mean this with all respect, but you, you're you're quite literally calling us problem children and talking to us like like we're in the principal's office here. I mean, were these rules posted? Did you at any point contact a member of the office to discuss policing or what standards you you had seen? I mean, I don't see these rules posted anywhere. I don't see any time when you contacted us actively trying to talk about policing these things. Like, like, like we're we're being perfectly respectful to you. And I think you're the, the the first one who's throwing out names here. I mean, uh, I mean, it, it's 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 common courtesy. It's common sense that, that you know behavior. I mean, you're taught to respect others. When I, you're look, younger. We, I don't like the comment. I don't. Need yeah. To talk down to us like this. I don't think you realize you're doing it. The common sense. I'm not a big fan of the word common sense because it, what it is is about we got to set expectations. It's about expectations. What's common sense to you isn't common sense to me. What isn't common sense to other people. Just look no further than common sense gun reform, who people want to ban semi-automatic we semi-automatic weapons or weapons that just look like military weapons because they look like military weapons because that's common sense. So uh, I'm not trying to come down on any one person, but that phrase, common sense, what we need to do is define what it is that we're talking about. And on, kind of on the other thing too is, you know, disgruntled, we're, I think that you have a good head on your shoulders, especially when you're talking about kind of the way that you go about coaching. And the one opportunity I see here is an opportunity to be like, hey, guys, um, you don't you, you don't leave this vaporous like if I feel that they've grown, we you, you got to set some sort of or my suggestion would be to set like, hey, if there's no if you don't say these words or whatever, these are these are hurtful words, you know, using. I don't know, um, like Bruce Jenner or whatever. People are getting mad at that stuff. Whatever the specific thing is that people are getting mad about, to, to find and correct those actions because it's just so difficult to coach, right? So well, just wanted to get that in real quick. You know what, Johnny? And you, you do prove a good point. But uh, I, I, I kind of can rebuttal that on a few different things. Um, and, and I think you, you might agree with me at least to some extent on this. Um, the fact that a, uh, a line should be drawn in the sand, whether you can say Bruce Jenner or whether you can say this term, it, sh it shouldn't have to get there to that point to begin with. I mean, well, I'm just I'm giving examples. I'm trying to find. Yeah, I'm trying to find, yeah, to find concrete I, deals. But, should, but yeah, but I shouldn't have to give a, a, a specific example. I shouldn't have to draw a line in the sand and say you do not shoot chemical weapons into Syria or I will cruise missile you. I shouldn't have to say that. Well, it shouldn't well, come to that. Disgruntled, you're the one who's setting these these moral hazards you're the one setting these these standards that you quite literally just banned 40 players from being involved in by your own standards so like you you kind of do have to because if you want to step up and if that's the role you want to play if you want to step into those shoes then that's kind of the, the obligation let me ask you this if you put a poll on nas tomorrow and said what like do does the nas discord need to be moderated and if the poll came back saying no the nas discord doesn't need to be moderated would you respect that? Would you accept that? Would you accept that as the community's decision? Do you like? Well, I guess I don't understand why you fundamentally. I guess I think our fundamental misunderstanding is the way Doc's office, and, and this is my opinion. Of Doc's office doesn't reflect the whole group. Is like we don't wear clan tags. Like it's not Doc's position to police us. We fundamentally disagree with you on your feeling that you need to police a video, an online community for Christ's sake. I mean, you're kind of you're pissing up a river with that one, pal. And I don't mean that to be disrespectful. I just mean, like, I don't understand where you're fundamentally getting your your urge to to moderate the internet. I, like, I don't know where you you're pulling that from. And if the community was to come back in a poll, say, excuse me, that they didn't need to be moderated, would you respect that? So what you're saying is, if you, if you're not wearing clan tags, you can do no, 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 whatever I, you no, want. that's not what he's saying at all. That's Listen very a, carefully. Whoa, 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 whoa. The operative, the operative question of that is, two, two things really. Where do you pull? Where do you feel like your responsibility is to be moderating the NAS in the first place? And then, if the community was to say we don't need to be moderated, would you respect that? So yeah, and I mean, so here, here's okay, what great. Here, no, it's so, that simple, hang on, then. Hang, no, no, hang on. Let me let me finish. So. There hasn't been a major incident or any type of major name calling slinging in the NAS Discord since I made the decision. So that's kind of and again, I don't want to. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and you know for me to have to take time. You know, inks entirely subjectively right now, and that's what I did, and I didn't want to, but I had to. I, I just wanted to make sure. 
Okay, cool. Because up, cause, yeah. Oh, definitely. Don't definitely. Because those are two very different things, and I think that's what yes. I think that's where the misperception is. Because when we look at uh, other communities, and I think what's happening here is there's a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, um, a mirror moment here, because there's you know the Reddit also has rules, and that they are in writing, and it seems there's a perception that maybe they aren't evenly applied. And so here, and, and that's something that Doc's office aid company is kind of challenging over there. It's, they're kind of having an experience over there and then kind of having a same, what could be considered the same experience here. And, and that's why it's real difficult for me because I've also been in that. I could kind of see both sides of this. Um, and that's why I understand where you're like, we don't need to define some of that stuff. And, and so I just wanted to make sure that, you know, that, that objectively versus subjectively is very important. You're right. Yeah, it's the, so, it's the same thing with Reddit. Like, literally the exact same thing. There's one person that says, oh, you know, Squad Ops did this, but it wasn't malicious. It's okay. They don't have, you know, they can up put and brigade all they want, but it's no worries. We won't ban them. Right? So you, and then, you think and then, it's a coincidence and then, and then, that you're banned from multiple communities? I, I don't think it's a coincidence. I think it's... Um, in some cases, it's it's whatever. They can ban us if they want. But if you don't care mass, that you're being banned, why are we having this discussion then? Do well, you... I'm talking about I'm talking about how you use NAPS, right, and publicly make an announcement to give this narrative out that we're terrible people just to get more teams to play. I didn't, and on top uh... of that, and top of that. Of course, you didn't specifically say it. You implied it. And on top of that, there are people in NAS Discord that attack me first. Nothing was done about it. Of course, there's a double standard being applied. If you didn't see that, I don't I don't know why you're in the position that you're in, if you want to call it a position. It, the same thing happened with Reddit. It's just because we're being painted as the bad guys. Why? Because I raise my voice on occasion. And people don't like that. Do you do you think that's the only reason, Doc? I pretty much, yeah. Okay. I think that is the main reason. People don't like me because I raise my voice. I think so because I hadn't heard a competitive squad for like six months of playing the game because I'd been chilling on ops. Like I'd say they were my home. I was trying to get in with them, um, play with them every day with um, two guys who are now in the office um, in our own little group, and every day. This Dr. Hammer would come on and everyone's, uh, you know, effing and blinding about the guy. No one likes him. Everyone's calling him every name under the sun in the chat. Oh, God, Dr. Hammer's here, for fuck's sake. Everyone leave. The guy's going to roll this and he's going to do it while he's shouting at us. Um, so I'd learned to hate the guy. I hated him. I hated the thought of him coming onto that server and ruining my bloody day. Um, and then I played in his squad one time and realized that his yelling is quite literally just to win the game. Nothing personal, nothing derivative, nothing derogative, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Just a man who wants to win the game. He's very passionate about. And I joined. Um, and I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm um, no, in no way a snowflake. I got feelings too, and they can be hurt by someone. No one has ever joined the office and then left to play with someone else. No. What does that tell no. you? <laughs> what does that tell you? Um, yeah. So can I? Uh, let me let me ask you this, Doc. If uh, if you're so upset about being banned from NAS, then no, why not, are you though. posting? We're, hang we're, on, we're, we're hang not. On. Well, we're let, not. let him let him finish, guys. We're putting, putting words in my mouth. We're not. Let, it, let him finish. Let him finish. So so why why are you surprised that you got banned from NAS when you're posting things? And I quote you: "I am not trying to be a leader in the community. I am here to win games. I do not give a fuck about growing the community. I only give a fuck about winning. So if that's all you care about, and it's and it's causing other MEP teams to leave because they want to grow the community, then obviously there's a rift here. And if you're not willing to change, then a decision had to be made." Well, let, right. let's. But the thing is, we've already, dude, we already left NAS. But well, you guys were still why, in the Discord did, why, causing why, problems. Why, why you guys are still in the Discord why causing does that problems, register man. In your head? So real, we real. Did, we didn't play the the event anymore. Real quick, because it was on break. Boys, real quick here, uh, or men. It wasn't on break. We stopped playing. I told 
backpack, who was at the time the head, it's irrelevant. We that like we Ross stopped Rachel. playing Hess. So matter. guys, guys, guys I want to quick get, I want to quick get in here because of the fact that there was a, something that was said, and I always want to give people an opportunity to be like, hey, Doc, you said this. Do you still feel this way? Is this is, is this an opportunity for you to either stay? You know what? You can because we can change our minds, or things can happen, and we can grow, and we can shrink, and we whatever. So, um, from what was said, uh, that disgruntled you, you quoted it from somewhere. So that that was quoted from Reddit. Okay, I can also quote from my chat. Sure. When was it? When was it? When was this? When was it? Because you got it up right. Uh, Reddit. I can't remember when that was when that was saved. Okay, it wasn't today, um, right? It wasn't well, today. Today, but I have things as recent um, as as last month or a couple, okay. four to five weeks ago. Saying so, the same thing. In so we understand the sentiment behind it, which is the the basically, it sounds like Doc, you're saying that you care to win and you don't really care about anything else, including the community. Could be because that's considered anything else. Is that how you truly feel? Yeah, I don't. I don't care about the NA community at all. I want to win. I don't okay. care if Big Mac was TNA. Why does that matter to me or our, our, our team? Okay. I want to I want to beat mumblerings. I don't want to make Sig Tech feel happy. You, you see my point? And to go out of your way to publicly announce that we're banned uh, after we've already left is is just a huge political play and narrative that's been going on to appease other people which is ridiculous quit you, using us as a tool to make yourself look good i i don't need to use you as a tool to make myself that's what look you're good. doing do that every day but uh so you wouldn't have had to ban us if we already left so explain to me by your definitional left um at, at what point does continuing to troll and lounge after i've said multiple times just that it's them. not debate club just, just ban them so I why, and that's, why, and that's why, exactly why do you that's have to exactly public, what why do you I have did. to publicly announce that's exactly it and use it as a political play? No, dude, you because blanket banned. You blanket yeah, banned. I had, bland, bland the ban the individuals. Mm -hmm. why, Don't blanket so ban an entire, entire individuals community. did get banned and it didn't change anything. More popped up. And, you know, it's okay, the sad them. part about it. Well, don't, right. don't misrepresent so what happened to Scrunnled. It was in one shot. You blanket banned in one shot. You didn't just casually ban a few. I mean, let's just be honest. Let's just be straight about it, right? It was just one ban in one shot with no forewarning. So you can't you can't simultaneously say you ban the problem to use your word problem children. And then you and then ban the whole community because you just it was in one shot. So at least be um, straight about it. You, so you, I, I posted that. I posted that, kind of hoping that uh, you guys would just leave the Discord, um, and you didn't. You, you know, backlash, whatever. I expected that. I, you know, whatever. I just like I said, I expect somebody to try to defend themselves, Wait, but in which the manner you did. Just say something uh, real quick. I will let you say whatever you want, Disco Lemonade. Let me just right. finish what I'm saying here. Sorry. Uh, and then to take matters further, um, there were some people that tried to have a civil conversation and I did not ban those people right away. It was when the conversation went uncivil that I fit that I just finished it. What I wanted to do is I wanted to in hopes, keep those people in those positions so we could have that conversation because I didn't want the ban to be indefinite, which is exactly what I said in the original post. I didn't want it to be indefinite, but the furthermore that I tried to work, the more pushback that I got. And the more pushback that I got, the more my decision was made for me. But you blanket ban an entire community, correct? Not to start, no. It's what you said in the message, right? You blanket ban from signing up in any future type of NAS event, yes. Okay, but we already left. That's why you still had clan reps and still had people in sign ups. But we so. weren't. But we weren't signing up. You're in the Discord yeah, actively I... participating, were you not? I have no idea. I'm not. I wasn't in the Discord. I left. You weren't policing your members, which is kind of the whole point. Why would I police members of my team? What gives me the What gives me the right to tell them how to act outside of a game of squad? What? What gives me the right to do that? I'm not going to tell them what to do. I'm going to tell them where to place a fob because they're on my team. I'm not going to tell them how to act outside of a game of squad. It's not my place, man. And where in the where in the rules of NAS is it posted that it's the responsibility of the individual clan reps to police their members? Because I, I don't see it anywhere. Why would I ever tell someone and why to would do that outside be a rule? of a exactly. game of squad? Right. 
It's my why job as a squad a, leader. Why is it not a, a, It's my job as a squad leader and a team commander to tell the team what to do in a game of squad. It's not my job to tell them how to act outside of that. He's not my dad. Um, yeah, I'm not their parents. All right, let's give Disgruntled a chance to respond. I mean, you you are a different person than just about anybody I've met in squad, and and I will give you that. You're a unique individual, Doc. Uh, but unfortunately, that causes so much friction for you. And if you just sometimes would take a step back and, and realize that a change in your demeanor can or change the way the question, you operate anyway, things. Shape or form, it's not, just and it, and it's awful personal. Question. Can you just... Can That's you just answer, question, answer if it's dude. if it's in the team speak rules and and where did you derive your responsibility to to police everybody and and force the clan leaders to enforce? Is that in the rules? Is it in the rules going forward? Like if we go back and we screen cap stuff from SigTac people being toxic, are you gonna blanket ban SigTac? I mean, where does the line get drawn? Like where do the rules happen? And it, it was just a conversation you had with anybody prior to this, it, and it, it certainly wasn't us. It's common courtesy to anybody for starters uh and then additionally uh if anybody in sig tech were to act out of line sig tech has a process for that which is why probably why so many people want to join sig tech this is a great community can i say something real quick i disgruntled we, i was promoting that that drunk squad thing and right after that you said why would anybody want to do that since dr hammers is in it it sounds awful I said yelling. I didn't say doctor. Yeah, I mean, I but you remember saying yeah. that, right? Yeah. Is that not toxic? Is that not shaming something that we were trying to promote? Did he type it or did he say it? Oh, he typed it. Okay. Well, I could. I, I don't yeah, really but care we. That I mean, much, we. But... we t I mean, you could. Everyone else was typing in trolls, so it's the same. I'm just idea. making sure we're talking the terms. Well, you shared it, and it's a it's a Discord meme thing. But if that's the standard we're going to be holding ourselves to, if we're going to, everyone's guilty of it, man. You're guilty of it. I'm guilty of it. It's Discord. It's Discord chat. Who cares? It's the internet. It's the internet yeah. for Christ's sake. I can understand. A, I understand. Different I, I, yeah, okay. but you, you, you're gonna you're gonna blank and ban like why why is SigTech not blank and ban? I, I mean, get... you want to you want to mend the NA community and you want to talk like that? I didn't say anything to you, did I? I don't care. But like, there's a double standard being held here. I you see, I I disagree because I've seen somebody like people from doc's office start something in nas and follow it up and and for starters but that's not that dude that's not what we're talking about let, okay let him let, finish real and, and, doc finish let him finish real quick well finish well fin disco asked a question he hasn't answered it yet answer the question no, I don't think there's a double standard because what I was about to say is there's a difference between saying I don't feel like getting yelled at and there's a difference between personally attacking somebody following them into this that, but that was a personal attack that was why a, would I anyone don't... why would anyone want to do that doc hammer would be yelling at you is that not well, a I didn't, personal I didn't attack? actually name name you for starters uh, but you implied it did he know you yeah no is that doubt. not a personal I'm attack? Pretty sure. i don't know so doc are you I mean, say are you saying that disgruntled issued a personal attack to you is that what you're saying i mean i if he did he did I mean, I don't care if he did, but like, if he's going to hold us to one standard, he's got to be ready to deliver the other. It sounds like you personally attacked me, in my opinion. Disgruntled, so, do you feel that you personally you, attacked him? Not at all. Okay. Okay, well, I don't feel like any of our guys personally attacked anyone in NAS Discord, so I guess no one personally attacked anybody. The 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 diff the difference is there is, is no uh, difference. There you're is you're describing is. the difference. No, you're, you're creating the difference, dude. Are you kidding me right now? I mean, can you can you at least come as far as to say that you, surely you recognize that you're SigTac and we're Doc's office, and and you just happen to be on the top of the NAS Discord right now? I mean, isn't it a little bit intellectually dishonest not to recognize that? <laughs> So well, it's not that honest. funny. It's, no. it's a straight question. Okay, so so you can't recognize in good faith that you might just be a little biased as to what this double standard might look like. You can't just admit that it's a possibility that you might be a little biased because you have the same clan tags as the people. So hang on. So I, I see where you where you're going with this. I'm very straight uh, about it. I'm not trying to be weaselly here. So I don't uh, no, I don't think there's an issue with bias, which is the exact reason why I took exact. 
exactly why it took two weeks to make this decision while speaking with clan leaders, mm -hmm. clan members, and community members. Mm -hmm. With that anyone have, but us. Everyone except that had previously the people in left NAS, didn't feel welcome in NAS, didn't feel like NAS was fun because of a common denominator. With anyone but us. And that's not biased? Are you kidding me, dude? Seriously? You're saying when, it's uh, not. Hold on. You're saying it's not biased. When you have and a you when you have a you, violent dog that continues to bite people, you don't you don't say, "Oh, people shouldn't go near the dog." No, you put the dog down. Disgruntled, pal. Disgruntled. The people, not dogs, dude. The Are you people. kidding me? So you're saying to kill us? Well, let's I, uh, I, I let's. Manage people for there's... A I manage people for a living. It's my job. Like, I work above people and I manage them and I tell them what to do all fucking day because that's my job, sadly. And if I've got a problem with one of them, I don't treat them like a dog. I take them to one side and I say, "Hey, man, you pissed someone off earlier." Don't say that again, and it's problem solved, problem done with. At no point were any of us approached like an adult uh, and spoken to like that about it. That's That comes down to the big problem here. You just compared us to dogs. And that's not cool. It's not cool, man. So I, I don't want to take away so, from the dog situation here, but there was a question need, that I... We need I, more dogs. <laughs> more dogs. Yeah, more dog. Well, okay. Well, you guys are all my dogs. D A. WGS, but um, there's a question from uh, the, I think it's Robin who said uh, that he's not memeing, but he was wondering if the decision is influenced by the SIGTAC members leaving and coming to the office. If not, can we see, I don't know, but can we see evidence of these discussions from other teams not playing because of Doc? Because that at this point, I'm taking him at his word. Which, I guess, I'm more interested in what your response is for, because I was, I mean, B Baloo, I remember Baloo being in SigTech. I love Baloo. And then I was surprised that he left SigTech and he's part of, uh, I, I guess, is Baloo part of the office now? Yeah. Dude, he's as, like, uh, as well he's as several other people. player, dude. Okay. So I was just wondering, so uh, do you feel disgruntled that any or some of the decision that was made was influenced by SigTech members leaving and coming to the office? Or what? what is your response to that? No, that's so that's so that's an easy one. Okay. Uh, there. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. So, be saying something? Oh no, I was just saying that's an easy one, and I was said okay. Uh, no, so and I think where they're going with this uh, is Doc's office kind of got into odds with some members of, of SigTac. Uh, you know, and the the beautiful thing about this is uh, I'm not a senior admin for SigTac, uh, so those conversations, those decisions, uh, they weren't mine to make, nor did I make any of them. Uh, so no, was that influenced by me? No, because anything that happened there was done over my head. It was something that I wasn't aware of at the time. Uh, you know, maybe the aftermath, absolutely, in the team meeting sure maybe i found it after the fact but this decision was done before that was known uh so here's the cool thing uh the cool thing about all of this is you, they they brought this up so they brought up the people leaving and going into a nut and going into doc's office so if here's what i'll say to answer the first part of that question if the other clan leaders that I spoke to feel comfortable on their end posting screenshots of the conversation, you have my full permission. There's tons of people watching this. Post away. You're more than welcome to. I absolutely would love for you to do so uh, because that, I mean, that provides transparency, but I'm not going to ask somebody to put themselves in an uncomfortable spot uh, because they don't want to. Uh, furthermore, because of the history of further uh, members of Docs members trying to, let's say, troll people people whether it be in chat let's not even use voice let's just say chat sure and go into people's discord and cause issues there's a history with that whether it's you doc or not i don't i don't care there, there's certain members of your team that might react negatively to that and uh i don't want to subject anybody to those members actions unless you're willing at this point to say that uh you will police them and say there's no retaliation allowed for that uh, which I, that I, will I, will, I will never police my team Okay. Any member of so the I mean, and, and that's why you can understand why people wouldn't and, feel comfortable and it's, posting and it's those screenshots. Then. It's ironic then you that have you to would ask me that. to do that. It's ironic that you would ask me to do that. So asking, because so but you can't ask for evidence. You can't the, ask for evidence and then say, uh, I, but I won't I'm, promise it won't be any retaliation for releasing that evidence. That's why there's a rift in the community, man. Can, can I'm a, not. Can I ask okay. a question? Go ahead, Kip. When you say police your members. What kind of consequences are you asking for? 
Are you asking that's not, to, that's not for me to do, that's not for me to know that's not for me to decide. That's that would be well, if no, what, that was you, something that Doc do? wanted to do. What would you what would do? You do? If you had to police one of your members. That's what Kip's asking. I just I just don't know what, what would I do. So well, for starters, again, I'll, I'll circle that back to I'm I'm not a senior admin at SigTech, so I wouldn't be the one actually doing policing. No, but uh, but we have do? this great thing called a community representation protocol um, that re that would actually outline how you should act. It's a discussion essentially of how you should act and if you don't if you act out of line it's something that at least with every single member that i've ever worked with with sig tech it is something that has been able to be able to be handled by a discussion and if it wasn't able to be handled by a discussion a mediator was brought in and that solved all problems now um to back to my previous point uh because i wanted to give you a chance to ask your question kip because you have haven't really asked any and i wanted to give you a chance to be fair um the back to the question of people bringing up uh, people leaving SIGTAC and going to Doc's office. Uh, another concern that was brought to me by another clan, I'm not even going to use SIGTAC, I'm going to use another clan uh, as an example, was that Doc's office had actually gone into their Discord after an event and attempted to recruit their top fraggers. Now, why would somebody want to play with you if you're going to go and try to recruit their top fraggers? That would feel make me feel uncomfortable just playing in a match, let alone a friendly match with you, Doc. Wait, wait, wait! What happened to Kip's question, dude? I answered Come on. it. No, you didn't. You yeah. said that, I said that would be up what? to I said that would be up to Doc, and then I provided what I would do but, in SigTech. That was what, what, that was what, the answer. If I may, for just a moment, um, Johnny, I, I hope I'm, I would like to ask you for a gentle favor in in the interest of bringing this to some kind of reasonable close in the near future. Sure. Disgruntled, you just talked about what the protocol is for SigTech. If there's a if there's a conflict, if there's like two parties and there's a disagreement you just talked about the sig tac protocol and you said if there's a discussion they can't find some kind of resolution you need to bring in a moderator johnny would you feel comfortable stepping into that role between john uh between disgruntled and the rest of nas and and doc's office to try to bring in some kind of resolution to, to bring nas back together would you be Johnny's comfortable job, job dude i don't think it's, would, Johnny's it's, it's not, jo it's it's not johnny's it, job it sure isn't it it's sure isn't it's not no it's not johnny's job and i don't don't yeah. even want to be involved I, in that okay. anymore well, no, so, not. but, it, yeah, I mean, it's, I I think that we have a great game here, guys. Like, squad, we're all here because we love squad. And, like, regardless, I think it's it's obviously things get a little out of hand. Things could get heated. And, I mean, I would love for just everybody to talk. Like, I think this is better than chat. Like, I think we say things to our face. This is as close as we can get, I guess, with that we we would never say... You know, and you say stuff in chat that you just won't, don't say to people. Like, I play Heroes of the Storm, which isn't a very popular game for some people. But um, the voice chat is like so great because you never get any of the toxicity that you get in the in the in the text chat. And I guess just that as a as a anecdotal example. But I, I would just love for us to not we make these decisions based off of all this text, and they're and they really affect us. I mean, I. There, a lot of you guys are a lot stronger than me, and I, I get really affected by a lot of this stuff. And, you know, to the point where I had to take a break from squad. So I just, whatever we do, I feel like there's room for all of us to improve. Um, and I really feel like there's some opportunity here to for for everybody to to grow a little bit and to to come together from because there's actually a lot of stuff that we can use here that we can apply to like our daily life. I mean, Kevin, the way that you manage and disgruntled, I, I love what you're saying about coaching. And I really think that there's opportunity here to bring some of that in, but really it just comes down to communication and yeah. there's doc. It, it kind of sounds like there's people that, you know, maybe don't feel comfortable talking to you directly. And, and I guess that's why, you know, if a mediator is there, I mean, I'm more than happy to like, find whatever everybody can be to be comfortable. I got to give major, major props to disgruntled yet again for, and I, I, we asked him previously if he felt comfortable getting questions from everybody. And so to come in here and then just talk to doc. And then all of a sudden we're, we're kind of raising the stakes a little bit for him, but I disgruntled. I, I think that every, I honestly applaud everybody here. I know we can get heated, but I think everybody's pulling it back and being, staying in the respect zone. And um, I, I haven't heard us get, pretty crazy or anything so Dude, it just it just feels bad like to be snubbed like 
in the blanket band. Like last night, I, I offered disgruntled to like, hey man, I have some ideas on how we can make Naz better for the, like make the community better. Um, and then like this morning, I wake up with a Naz band, and so it's like I don't don't even get a chance now, and I didn't do anything wrong. I don't have a, I don't have a chance to to tell them like, well besides now, like how we can actually make Naz like a a tool to make uh, the community better and like, and quote unquote, bring down the levels of toxicity. Yeah, I think it's just, I was it's listening just... this whole time and I think it's, it's, I'm having trouble wrapping my head around when, with the whole policing thing and, and I think when it should be easier to just ban them from the discord, um, you know, because when you say police your members, I'm thinking, you want them to kick them out? I mean, from the team? User I mean, left because this is channel. the internet. There's not really, you can't, what, you can't find them? I'm trying to think what you want to do. And if they're really harassing that much on the Discord, I think the simplest thing would be just to ban them from the Discord. Or maybe just exactly User what you just said. User was moved to your channel. Uh, bring the clan rep. They have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with a third party. Hey, you know, so and so is being real disrespectful. Uh, if you know, if he can't change his ways in the Discord the text, he either needs to leave, or we're gonna ban him from the text uh, channel, and you just keep going from there. Um, I got banned, and I I had the the channel muted. I never made one single message in the whole six months I was there in the channel. So this I this whole policing thing, you know. I don't like people in our Discord. I, I just feel like them. blanket bans just and creates more toxicity. You know, like I'm not a toxic guy, but when I get blanket banned for no reason, it pisses me off, and then it makes me want to be toxic. Do you yeah. see what I mean, Discord? Yeah, but I mean, I, just like you, man, you made a real good. Oh, you know, SigTag has this nice, you know, system they use, where if your members are acting out, you know, we go through this process. We, you know, we bring the person over, we talk to them. And I was just thinking, I was like, man, how come that, that system wasn't employed in NAS, right? Um, but, yeah, it just wasn't used. I mean, it sounds like a good system. It just wasn't used. Could have been used in NAS. It probably would have, you know, gone a long way. And then Doc would probably say, oh, you know what? Yeah, we're probably not going to play anymore. So, you don't have to worry about us, you know, banning us. And, you know, if you, you know, people are talking out line Discord, just, just ban them and it'll be fine. We don't care anymore. We were not participating in NAS. Probably would have gone a lot smoother that way. So let's call it a handshake, disgruntled. Would you unblank after having the conversation that everyone just had, even if Doc's office doesn't plan to participate in NAS in the immediate future, will you will you unblanket ban the community and then decide that if a member is too particularly toxic for your your brand of policing, you could just ban the individual member? As a handshake to bring this to some kind of conclusion, will you unblanket ban the office? So uh, I had this conversation. Just think about it. With Take you. a couple hang seconds on, and think about on. it, pal. Hang on, hang on. So this I is a had handshake this... here. Now, hang on. So you you gave your terms, and now now I'm gonna give you a chance. You know. So we actually talked. Uh, chat. We'll use chat. Just keep continue to use that. We actually talked with uh, through chat, and I uh, and I kind of clarified you to you that that was a uh, you know not an indefinite decision when I banned you guys. Uh, but the uh, the part of the problem is I don't want to act on good faith whatsoever. Uh, so what I would love to see, or just act on words whatsoever at this point of this is what I won't do anymore. So at this point, what I would like to see, again, I'm not saying this is permanent, but I would like to see some, some good faith out of, out of Doc and his guys, but it doesn't sound like there's any interest in doing that, which kind of upsets me a little bit because I would love to, I would love to see everybody working together. What would you like to hear but, us say, Disgruntled? Would you like to hear us say that, Yes, we'll be good boys, and we won't we won't break what your standard of policing is. Uh, do you want to reach? Here, do you want to reach around while we're at it? Doc, Stop. come okay, on, come on, come on. Hand, come on. Doc, he's he's joking. Here's our, exactly. here's our handshake. Our handshake is this: we will come back to the NAS. We're not even going to be participating right now. You know, this is the handshake. Bring we can bring this to some some big happy conclusion, and it can be over with, or we can continue with a rift in in the NA community. If your goal 
is to is to bring the NA community closer, to grow NAS, then I don't think blanket banning is the way. I don't think a lot of people think blanket banning is the way. Just so, just like if it was in, if the if the shoe was on the other foot, if Doc was in control of NAS, and he blanket banned SigTac, which he wouldn't leave about a particular member that's really rustling Jimmy's, then you can take it upon yourself kick to have the out. conversation. You can kick him out. Get him. Get rid of him. That's get that's the him. handshake. This <laughs> wouldn't be something I decided on my own. Oh, we well, decided to, to blanket ban us, right? Yeah, or, right. Or... Without conversations. I mean, we were. We're, we're putting it out there, pal. I'm not sure that there's going to be another chance for this kind of handshake. Well, let's not, let's not let's not talk in absolutes. People in chat. Well, this isn't an absolute. I'm just saying there's. It can be definitive. It can be done. So, I, like I said, and I and I'm going to repeat this for the you know millionth time. You know, this isn't an indefinite decision. It wasn't an indefinite decision when it was made. So, I mean, at the very least, it would be something that would have to be decided upon with the clan reps because those are the people who spoke to me and said that they had issues. Uh, and because they spoke to me and they said they had issues, I had to take action. So I took action. So my action was decided upon by my discussions with clan reps. So my action going forward again would have to be decided upon by my conversation. Well, well your your actions your actions were biased. They were so they, they should be weren't. Yes, they were. I, sw I spent yes, two they were weeks completely. They were it, completely dude. great. You contemplated it. Does it yeah, make it I unbiased? Yeah, I spoke to multiple clans. Great. Multiple Besides clans that left, us, multiple clans that didn't want to come back. Dude, think Cause, about cause, think about what you're saying. You're saying you're unbiased. You bet you never talk to us. How is that unbiased? Think about what you're saying. It doesn't make any sense. Bias takes because if in, I talk to you, takes in I... both sides of the story. No, but no, but that is bias. You did not take in both sides of said story. And like, uh, that's not a personal attack. Me saying that that is a fact. The that's, only, that's not the only, unbiased. the only reason why I came in today and I was willing to talk was because Johnny Allman was here to me mediate it, and it was being streamed by the community to see exactly what happened for transparency. Well, you, you and I. We're going to talk regardless. That is correct, right? Or should I pull I, out the PMs? Oh, you can pull them out, dude. Go I'm for not gonna. It. I'm, I'm not gonna pull them out. But we were supposed to talk. We were at 8 we were, p.m. Correct. Right. <laughs> and what, I, okay. So maybe what I should have done is I should have just told you, no, I'm not gonna talk to you because at the time I wasn't 100 percent confident, which is why I pushed it back twice. <laughs> and well, furthermore, you know, well, coming you into your team speak, you pushed it you back talk. because you were at work. So was. you're lying. I, I, I quite Are, didn't know. Okay. So, so I quite so literally, what, I said this earlier you, that I left everything early when I saw the stream. So furthermore, and then you said you wanted to talk at uh, 8 You left work early made... because you saw a stream? Well, let's, yeah, let's you know, real, let's, yeah, let's, let's uh, let. I don't get a chance to defend myself. You banned me from the Discord. Because your actions had, had warranted that action, you and your team. According to you. According to the community. Yeah, that we didn't even get a say in. Because you had destroyed that relationship. You burned the bridge. So is there an opportunity, oh. like, to... So the community thing, I think what... Some of the issue may be here is transparency. And the fact that right now, disgruntled, I think there's a little bit of shooting the messenger going on here, unfortunately. Where y you are kind of speaking, quote-unquote, on the community's behalf. And there is kind of a, I don't know if it's a cognitive disconnect or what it is, but um, I think that for a blanket ban, um, these guys are obviously frustrated and they kind of don't, kind of don't, uh, I don't know if believe it is the wrong, I mean, it's, there's this interesting thing, guys, because I know we say that we don't care, but I, I'm going to call us on that. I'm going to say we do care and, and you can disagree with me. But I'm saying we all care about this. We all care about this game. We all care about the community. Uh, even though when, Doc, you say that you don't care about the community, I, I don't think that's literally what you're saying. I think you're saying you want to win, and there's other, there's a roundabout way. So I would definitely reconsider the way that you maybe use those words together like that. Um, because people could maybe construe that you don't care about the community when really, uh, I think you do. But... Um, that's just my opinion. So where I'm going with this is that, uh, I think that the transparency is where I'm going. And that is that for a blanket ban, do, should there be a vote? Like, is there a vote that can be a public vote or some sort of public record? Uh, or, I mean, what, what are your thoughts on that disgruntled? If there's some sort of 
Um, so, so here and here's and here's where my my there's my only reservation, Johnny. And I said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. Why would somebody feel comfortable being transparent in their vote if Doc can't promise that there won't be any backlash for doing so? I guess the well, vote could gonna, still be. What do you mean backlash? Are you saying like he's like calling people on their cell phones and like? You know, sending threats and like eating like the in the, the mail, or, or are you just saying all this is all in Discord? It's in Discord, and I mean, furthermore, well, like people just, shouldn't have to just... put up with that. Well, okay, well, well if I, there's a there's a, he's probably listening right now, so he knows it. There's a guy I don't really like in our Discord, and all I'd have to do was just block him, and I don't see his messages anymore, so they can just block. Dr. Hammer, correct? You won't see his messages anymore. No more attacks. Because every time you say, oh, he's going to get backlash, I'm thinking, God, is he saying death threats to them? You know, he's going to go go to their house, find out where they live. Are we talking? I want to be very <laughs> I mean, clear on this because this is very important. Disgruntled at any point in time, are we talking death threats? I no, I have never I have never seen that from anybody in Dr. Hammer, so I wouldn't expect him to do that. Furthermore, I don't really think there's anyone that would go to that level. Okay. No swatting, no death threats, none of that stuff. Furthermore, I think uh, I think everybody here in this conversation uh, can uh, can admit that if you're willing to swat people, if you're willing to give death threats, if you're willing to dox people, you can just go fuck yourself and show yourself the door. So, so this God is all bless. so we're all saying this is all in Discord chat. Obviously, he's on the Discord voice chat, right? Because so here I'll provide no you an join. example. Well, no, I'll, 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 well, just like Kip finish. Yeah, the Discord this, chat, this is right? all just Discord chat. Obviously, no one's talking to Doc on the Discord voice or in Teamspeaks, right? He's not verbally harassing them in Discord, the Discord chat, channels. going into their server with troll tags and pissing every bunch of people off and just running the game. Yeah, but it's all, all just Discord chat, right? All Discord chat. Well, I mean, going into their server with troll tags can ruin somebody's reputation of somebody's server that they're paying for with hard-earned cash. Okay. Yeah, well, then you can just ban them. Just the, take, the all, takes is, all takes is one instance. But yeah, sure. I understand what you're yeah. saying. I mean, I, I can do the banning for y'all. I mean, I, 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 I can ban all our office members for you in the squad, Discord, or what is it called? The... Mass Discord, if it's too much work, I can do it. I mean, all it is is simple. You just block someone on Discord. So, you know, so yeah, so Kip, so it sounds like kind of what you're saying is that there's almost a self-empowerment that there are moderator tools that you yourself can use that if you are having an issue or if I'm having an issue with Doc Hammer, I can just click on his name and click mute. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're so trying the, to say that we can't suppress what people are saying. We've got freedom of speech and a right to say what everyone wants to say. But what you have got the right to do, disgruntled, is to tell us to fuck off and get rid of us. And there's nothing else we can do. But doing it to our whole team is completely out of order. Especially ever, without, especially that's, without consultation. That's all we're trying to get at. Yeah. Is there ever a warning? Did anybody if you ever said, come to if us? you messaged me tomorrow and said, Kevin, this Kip is a prick. Uh, personally, I don't like him, but more to the point, he said this, 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 this. We will, Kip will then fine, get rid of him, and no one will ever, ever argue that case. If you've given us hard evidence, uh, that's fine, but that never happened. So can you see why we're in this mood? Can you see now why? When that's all it, all it takes. If you want to moderate, you have to hold it at the same standard, dude. If you want other people to moderate, you also have to moderate your own shit. It's not our shit to moderate, it's yours. Was there ever a warning that something No, like that? that's that's the point. It, it feels like you kind of well, just let it boil over. Everything else is irrelevant. It's all irrelevant. Yeah. I mean, there were there were warnings posted in a lounge as well as chats that took to place. To players or the team? To, to, to uh, individuals. To the team. To actually, uh, let's. I'll, I actually, I'll put. I'll even put it out here. I, uh, I, I warned the entire Discord that I wouldn't let that turn into debate club, to which I ended up doing. So I took down NAS, and then uh, people started flooding NAS suggestions. So, I mean, I took down Lounge, so I went, and then people started flooding NAS suggestions, and I took that hey, down. Wake up. Eventually, put them both back up. But uh, I mean, here, I mean, at this point, we're kind of just circling back to the to the but same I'm talking conversation. About 
I'm talking about when these people came to you and they said they weren't signing up specifically become because of Doc. Did you ever come to them and say, hey, this is an issue, this is a warning, something's going to happen? Was there ever a warrant to the consequence? Did you ever let somebody know beforehand that something was going to happen? Or did you just let it boil over and then ban them? No, because I had to be concerned about retaliation. Certain members of the no, team. You don't. Retaliation. Well, we just we just established that there were there were words on the you're screen. De, you're there de, were you're devaluating. You're devaluating how much that can really affect, and how much that can really affect somebody's experience. When text chats are seventy percent of of what's done here between what Discord and between. So yeah. My question is seventy percent. Where did you get that statistic? My question from? was: Was there a warning? Was there ever a warning? Did you ever come to anybody when you consulted with these other people? And they said, "Hey, we're not signing up because Doc's office is a part of it." And I and I just explained why. But uh, no, I mean, at but this yes point, or, it's we, a yes or no it, answer. So I said yes no, and then I explained why. But I mean, at this point, I feel like the, this conversation is just circulating, circulating back and channel. forth, These and you guys are just channel. trying to de-evaluate uh, your de. Uh, if you're trying to devaluate. Thank you. The uh, yeah. how much tax check can really affect somebody's experience. See, but either way, to me, I'm sorry to cut you off. To me, that's that's the crux of the conversation. Like it's it's tax. I I don't think anybody here in Doc's office gives two shits about text chat. But I, the community I don't does. wake up the next day and be like, oh man, Do they? that guy Do said a mean thing that to me in Discord chat. Person knows that. Do you know for sure? That every single person on its squad community is offended by you. You don't know that. You don't know that, and you can't say that. I can say know. that for the NAS like, there's community. There's more things no, to worry you, about in life than but you keep saying Discord it for the community. Chat. You keep saying for the whole community. But also, if you're a right. moderator and you're talking about people policing, isn't it your job to police and take care of the things? But at the same time, you can't just hand out a blanket ban without a warning or like some sort of like consultation with which a is why, rep. Which is why to to fucking stop all this firing at you dude which is why all we're asking for is you go home tonight drink your beer go to bed and think well what if we unban them and then just ban the cunts just ban the ones who come out of the woodwork and piss us off because then you'll wean them out pretty bloody quick mate won't you you'll get rid of them pretty quick and that'll be it and, and then you'll be left then you'll be left with enough people uh, cause I, I, I don't want to play NAS, mate. I'm not gonna, I don't want to play NAS. I'm not interested. I've only got enough time to play bigger scrims to me, right? The stuff that's more important. But there's 39 other people in the office and I'm sure as 61. hell nine of them. 61. 61, dude. I'm sure as hell nine of them might want to play NAS. Um, so if you ban all the guys that no one's happy with, what you've got left is a few amount of people who want to play squad, who fill the criteria of not being toxic enough to be kicked from the NAS discord. Maybe it's not Doc. It's not me, but it's other people, and it's Doc's office, and it's nice people. And hell, and you can even say squad. you can even say you're the bigger man. I mean, we're we're sticking our hands out here, and and like, if you want to ban the cunts, ban the cunts. Kevin's exactly right. I like Nas, frankly. Nas is no, where I, did, I it had. Was great. Well, I'm, I'm just, I had I'm, my first competitive time. squad leading session. I was playing yeah, Nas. Exactly. Like that was like three months ago for me. I had a blast. I had a great opportunity. It was it was fun yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah. And then you know uh, the like, problems. If the yeah. problems dog. Disgruntled. We'll have dog squat lead then. For the guy let me, let me, yeah, let me drop my idea <laughs> on how we can make Nas better. Um, I think we should have all the clans who are going to play that weekend sign up, and then uh, so divide like four clans on each team, and then we just like do a shuffle of the players. Um, that way, like people are playing with other clans in like all these random squads right so you're getting to know like um people from three other clans and like gain chemistry with them and like you're you're on voice comms right so you're not going to be like a huge asshole to each other and then it like it fosters community growth and fuzzy feelings you know as opposed, as opposed to keeping as opposed to keeping all the communities separated and separate right, squads. I think it's good. And maybe and maybe Doc doesn't have to squad lead. Maybe then he can go yeah. play vehicles where he can't piss anybody off. Just ban and... him! Ban him! We don't care. We'll play without him. Like honestly, he's really not that big a deal. He's really not that big yeah, a I'm deal. I'm too mean to them anyway. I just want to say <sighs> disgruntled. Then That's it me. becomes more fun as opposed to okay, let's like. Like, yeah, I think, yeah, that, that might just... have been the problem. Is when you know we, you know, we're all playing in our one group, right? We still got the same mentality, but you know, if you start, you know, mixing everyone together, then it's become more of a laid back, you know, deal, and everyone just, you know, it's like a high level fun. pub at that point. 
Yeah, you know, they're we, just we trying to get this. to know people. And, yeah, we did this with SWC um, when it was first established. Um, it was like Aussies, Euros, um, NA, and it was fun, dude. It was like high level pubs. Oh, was, was that, playing wait, with like was SWC? Yeah, we like yeah, that, dude, that first was amazing. little match that Johnny so casted. Much, that was so fun. I just want to say, just grumpled like respect it coming in here, but I know there's what one, two, three, four, five, seven docs off this guy and just you. So we're not trying to pile. You know, on we're, you. I, we're yeah. not trying to pile on you. Like, just we all have opinions. You have opinions, and so we don't, don't hate don't you. feel a, don't feel like you're att being attacked. I we don't, don't, we don't you hate you. Way. It's just like when we get blanket banned for no reason. Like the people who didn't do warning. anything. It's just like. It and makes you know, us not and, and I'm not you, saying you know? that you shouldn't. And I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't be pissed off that, that you guys got banned. I'd be pissed off if I got banned. But uh, what I would do instead of looking at the the person that banned me, I take a step back and I look at well, why the hell did I get banned? Well, I got banned because people couldn't stop acting like an asshat. I but, didn't uh, get banned. We furthermore, got banned. For, furthermore, uh, furthermore, your idea of shuffling all the players it sounds like a great idea. I think that's uh, kind of uh, already a thing called Friday Night Fight with the uh, with the ASC, but that's a different conversation. Um, and then to take things a little bit of a of a step further, I mean, my here's here's my whole point is the general consensus of this conversation. It, it's gone back and around. And, and gone back around in circles, but I, I still personally don't feel like the the leadership in the docs office cares about North North American squad uh, or cares about uh, the growing of, of North America. They care about winning and they care about winning the Squad World Cup, which is great for you guys. I hope you do. But I who really cares, do hope who, you win. Who cares but, about the leadership? What does the leadership have anything to do with it? Because you because it allows and promotes the behavior, so, in which is not. Just, but what? Who cares? Who cares what I think? Real, real what, quick to what, jump what in here rugby? because I, I'm I'm gonna say that this was one of the hardest things for me to understand with Doc's Office coming into the scene because Doc's Office is a clan that's not a clan, which is weird to say because they are a clan but they're not. And Disgruntled, this is kind of what you're talking about before. Where you're like, Doc, you're kind of picking and choosing when you're an individual, when you're a clan. That's kind of what. The, and this is where me coming from a traditional clan, like. Um, we were part of E911 and Planet Side 2. We had 300 members, and then we had Swift Knights, and then I was part of Hold My Beer, um, which are much more traditional clans. But Doc Hammer is like this loose coalition of people, and so this is where disgruntled when you're saying, of course the leadership needs to take responsibility. That's how a clan is run. And Doc Hammer's like, what? why would anyone care what the leader... That's not how a clan is run. So I think really what's happening here is a fundamental disagreement or maybe a, a, a redefinition of what a clan is to each of us. We're just a group of boys who likes playing together, you know? We don't, I mean, we don't want to deal with all the nonsense that, that comes with a clan hierarchy. And, and two chicks. 99% of us logged on oh, yeah. this morning and, and, and saw a band and had no idea why it was. And, and that's, that's where this came from. Yes, yeah, so I, don't, I don't understand how you're, you're basing a whole, like... Just because people don't like me doesn't mean that rugby can't play NAS. I don't see what what that has anything to do yeah, with anything. Yeah, but it's it's irrelevant because it fucking happened, and there's no point talking about it yeah. anymore because you yeah. can't time travel. So well, go to bed, Kevin. Then we'll keep so, talking about you. <laughs> so I mean, I felt so, like we've we've offered our our two bits. So stuck our hand. It's like we're, we're waiting for the shake. Yeah, yeah we yeah. we we shake. put it on the table, man. We stuck our hands out, so you know we we laid. We we put it out there, man. So it's, it's not, on you. And, the ball's not, in your and court. I'm not this saying it's and I, like I said, I'm not saying it's a no, but it's a no down the road. But it's 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 no right now. Oh, uh, it's it amazing. Is. Why don't we not? Why don't we not know right now? Why don't we? <laughs> why don't we? Let's wait. Let's just say that the offer is out there, and what what disgruntled? I think that um you know hey you wake up you have a, <laughs> a banana nose um. What what we have out there, and as someone with that coaching experience and that mentor experience that you have, you you already know that uh, something like this is kind of bigger because what's happened is the person that you've given the corrective action to is that really there was no warning given to, which we're all agreeing that that happened. Uh, the re there are reasons that it didn't happen, but it, it didn't happen. So like 
if this was HR at a company, like you'd actually have like an HR litigation thing happening here where you fired someone without giving them due process, essentially. So like we could, there's, there's reasons for that. It's because when it comes to coaching and growing somebody, like you need to do that. You need to let them know that there's something wrong. And even if you think it's completely apparent, like they should know, they should know that something's wrong. So what I'm, what I'm saying is, or what I'm suggesting is that maybe we understand that these guys have happened. There are some that have expressed interest in wanting to continue with the awesomeness that is North American squad. There's some people that are like, you know what, I'd love to, or maybe I, you know, I don't feel like it, or I'm still kind of healing, or maybe they're not going to use those words. I don't know. Uh, but what I implore you to do disgruntled is to not say no right now and just say, you know what? I really, <laughs> this is what I'd love to hear right now. You can say it or not say it. Hey guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Um, and and likewise, they would say disgruntled. Wow, like I think rugby and disco both said, "You man, what a guy to come in here." And there's eight of us and one of you. And you already said, you know, not being intimidated and all. But we we take a look at the, what's happening here, and we say, man, there's there might be something here. There might not be, but there might be. And as a leadership position, especially as someone who speaks for everyone, uh. I don't think that if you guys made a decision before, that's like, no matter whatever they say, it doesn't matter whatever they say, that's a no. So you already have the decision of the no, which that is, that is, there's so much, then, then why meet in the first place? <laughs> so there's something here that there's, there is things that were heard. And again, I just implore you guys to talk about it, whether some of those words might be misconstrued. Like when doc said, uh, you know, I don't care about the community. I think there's a difference between what he said and what we heard and what he means. So there's some things there because I know you're talking about that. But what I really want is for you guys to just think about like really where it can go. And I think that there's going to be some good guys. There's going to be some guys that don't want to play, but the blanket ban, I just think everybody's above that. I think disgruntled there's a better option. And I know, I know that you know, because you already said that that is not personally what you wanted to do. But because of you in your leadership position with North American Squad talking to the community, I just implore you to take this new one, have everybody listen to the entirety of this conversation, make up their own mind, and then maybe you guys have a sense to, to talk about it internally. Take some sort of vote. It doesn't have to be like, it could be an anonymous vote or whatever, because, you know, as a leader, you're representing everybody, so everybody's got to have a voice, and so... That's just, if I were to do it, that's the way that I would do it from a mediator standpoint. So I guess I'm just that's saying. That's exactly what I've been talking about doing. Like I said, I'd have to discuss it with the client reps first. Perfect. And then remember, Doc doesn't have to be the one squad leading for us. Okay. Remember, that seems like the. I'm pretty sure, the, he, not to put words in his mouth, but I'm pretty sure he explicitly said he doesn't care to do it. So remember that. If the whole thing is, oh, I don't want Doc yelling at me, well, you know, we have maybe rugby squat leader, you know, OD, you know, tell us to look at the sore markers, okay? We have a saying in the doctor's office, um, and it's God bless. So it cross next to my name. No, but that's the thing, like, more than likely, it's going to be the new players who want to, who we want to get involved in something, like you say, semi competitive, the, the, before we go full hard on a international. Something, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So it's not going to be any of us in here. It's going to be new players who want to get involved. It's going to be yeah, remember, we got the only never 61 even people. Yeah. 61, remember that. The only That's reason I played day. the only reason I played the last three weeks before I stopped playing in it, because I didn't want to play in it anymore, is because that NAS wouldn't happen without us bringing 18, 20 players. And well, the only reason I was squad leading yeah, because I was one of the people that were online. Well, well either, either wasn't way, because they weren't signing up, right? It's gonna go right. Either way, right. I think we're. Uh, I th I think we're kind of. We we've kind of discussed what we need to discuss. We have. Uh, we have some things we can action on going forward that uh, could be some potential resolution to the problem. Um, and furthermore, uh, Doc, thanks for the invite. Johnny, thank you for mediating. And then Odie, Rugby, Disco, don't panic. 
you know, Kev, Thick Kevin, thank you for uh, keeping things professional and being able to have a, a conversation that's always appreciated because uh, Lord knows there's plenty of people that uh, would not have been able to do that. So I appreciate that and commend you guys with that, especially with I know that uh, there could be, uh, you know, you guys have reason to be angry with me. So I appreciate you uh, no, having no, a normal no, conversation. No, we're not angry We're not angry at you. All. We're not angry at you, disgruntled. I don't, I don't even know I don't you. Upset. No, we're not angry. No, no, no. confused, my dude. Confused. I'm not, I'm not, I, don't I don't think even know about you, you in the morning. I'm not sure who you are or what you do. I'm just confused. I'm not angry or upset. I need you to know that. Dude, when you we don't, we don't here. understand these actions at all. We're confused. We're not angry or upset. But I need you to. I really need you to understand that. And be okay Kevin, how that. many doobies do you have before this meeting? Dude, I'm <laughs> so blazed. Dude. Well, <laughs> Jed, I just want to make sure that. Are you kidding? Oh, oh my god, that's right, Kevin. It's very early for it's you. Just, I just need to know that, mate. Well, what I want to know is, is this uh, same time, same time, same place next week? Uh, that's right. Yeah. Therapy. <laughs> we're here. We're here. No, I do want to make sure that we. It's. It's. <laughs> it sounds like we're so, wrapping up here. Are you charging by the hour. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. I am not charging by the hour, but it does sound like we're wrapping up here. And I did want to make sure that we all kind of go off. One big thing that kind of came up a lot was that Doc uh, specifically yells and screams and 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 really gets ornery um i i want to say that i personally didn't hear i feel that i didn't hear doc yelling or screaming today did anyone are you ornery baby <laughs> <laughs> do i do i make you randy baby <laughs> do we all agree i mean disgruntled would you agree that doc wasn't yelling or screaming or doing anything during this sure yeah no i didn't hear that okay okay so, so that sounds like you agree that there wasn't. We we actually had a a conversation where. So we we actually kind of had a conversation. Had is what a, it sounds like. Yeah, we had a conversation. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Talking yeah. all these guys for earlier. Now, granted, there were. It did. You know, we got a little. We got some jo We got some jabs yeah, and some jabs in. To wrap this up already, okay? I hey, I'm oh, trying. Man. I'm trying. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to recognize. <laughs> I'm just trying to recognize that we all made it, right? And and we, there was some. We're still was, alive. We're gonna go to bed. Yeah. Hopefully, we wake up tomorrow morning. Okay? Yeah. A lot of people aren't. Right? I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for Bill with a mission failed meme. <laughs> we'll get him. Right. We'll get him next time. We're gonna we're gonna all go to sleep and hopefully wake up tomorrow because a lot of people aren't. All right. That's right, Kip. A lot of people aren't. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kip. There we well, go. I get told I get told that every time I'm my assigner. Okay. You know, I'm feeling great. You know why? Because I woke up t this morning. I'm feeling great. Oh, I'm not dead yet, baby. That's right. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, guys. Well, it sounds like... Is there anybody that wants to say anything else that's on their mind and this is the opportunity to... No. Cheers yeah. to the Skrtle. Thanks for coming in, bud. Yeah. yeah. Have God a God bless. Well, God one, bless. Two, three, uh, left your channel. We got one, two, three. Nass, right? Go Nass. <laughs> one, 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 two, two three. three. Go Nass. Nass. On, one, yeah. one, two, three, go, Docs. Come on now, you know, gotta, right. you know. <laughs> no, I'm not into much of the one, two, three stuff. Never was. Okay. All right, you guys, you guys uh, have a great night, though. I'm always Good a cheerleader. We didn't do nothing. Give me one, two, three, anything, and I'll cheer it. I'm like one, two, three, right. potatoes. One, two, three, ceiling fan. I'm just Dude, looking around the room. Johnny, we're trying to wrap this up, man. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, all right. Well, that's that's about it. One, two, three. Special thanks goes out to uh, Disgruntled, Doc Hammer, Odie, the rest of the crew, Rugby, uh, Don't Panic, Kip, Thick Kevin, um, and everybody else that joined us here today. Chat, thank you for keeping it relatively civil. Thanks to the mods for power tripping tonight. <laughs> Man, did you but, make any money on subscribers right now? Oh, we I don't no, I don't think so. We don't do subscribers, no. so I I don't know what happened. I actually didn't set anything, so apparently there was some. Uh, I bet you would have made a lot of money. You put a subscriber mode. Uh, on. Just don't forget, uh, Friday nights on the Doc's Office New York. No, for profit uh, Friday organization. night squad every Friday, Friday night. Drunk squad. That's right. Friday so Doc's night. office has Friday, Friday night, night drunk squad, squad and sa Sunday night uh, North American squad. Yeah, there you go. Now, so, did you know? Did you know that Doc actually chills out when he drinks? So, B oh, right, or B square? I don't believe yeah. it. I don't believe I it. He, he I just, he I just stay. I just he stay just in shoots. vehicles. He just shoots people. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! Right, gonna, Amazing! All right, guys. You, well, thank Users you so much. From your channel. And uh, it's been. I'm gonna disconnect here. See you Boom! Soon. There we go.
Um, are you stop streaming? I I'll, I'll, I'm gonna head on yeah. out here, boys. He, popped, he put himself away. He's oh, doing his own I'm, thing. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna head I'm gonna head on out, boys. Take it easy. Take care, Johnny. Take care. Johnny. All right, Thanks, much Bell. much love, Thanks, everybody. Johnny. All right, you, we'll disconnect here. So wow, man. Oh. That guy says, all in all, this is what the community needs. Actual conversing and common ground. This is good moderation. Thanks, that guy. Thanks, Johnny Omo. You're very welcome, Thompson. Um, Thomason. So, yeah, uh, we have a lot. Of... What? Everybody's timing each other out. Stop it, mods. Stop it. Jeez Louise. Everybody needs to... I can't. I just need to... Everybody's banning. Bill, stop it. Stop it. Um. The final thought. Uh. The final thought. Oh, man. How much per session of therapy? <laughs> well, first, thanks for some of the follows here tonight, guys. There's a lot, and, uh... I know there's a little bit of clickbait here for the Doc Hammers, literally Hitler. I do appreciate you coming in and your voices are heard. There's a lot. Um, well, we'll, 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 we'll do a little, uh, we'll do a little talking with the mods here. If you enjoy your sword, we were giving it out as kind of a thanks for being part of the stream, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what's going on there. Uh, fire, tr fire truck, fire truck. How are you, man? Has the government contacted you about your cancer removal serum? I would love, man. Uh, the thing is, is that guys, squad is one of the best games ever made. Um, and I know we're going through a little bit of a patch right now. And I know that at the end of it, so I'm, I'm dealing with my own little personal squad, uh, community issues of which maybe we'll need another stream for that sometime, but I think the the core here is that we got just a lot of passionate people, a lot of amazing players that are maxim min maxing. Like in Dungeons and Dragons, a min maxer is someone that basically finds all the best. In Dungeons and Dragons, there's like five thousand different combinations of of things that you can do, and a min maxer is somebody that like maximizes like uh, a a halfling thief that gets all the bonuses to thieving from halfling and everything. So. Oh my, I'll do a therapy session with FFO if they want it. Um Yeah, Gunny, sorry about the mute. You shouldn't I don't know. I'm you shouldn't have, people shouldn't have been muted for half of that stuff. <laughs> not not yeah, free everybody should be unmuted. Stop. It's not even funny, so please don't. Please don't ban or mute for anything that's not like death threats. Um so, no, I guess final thought is that we've got a lot of amazing people. And the thing that I really want everybody to consider here is just how you your behavior can be perceived. So, when that's, that's why I have a really hard time because I grew up, I was really lucky, I guess. I grew up in the days that the internet was just being made. So, like, I don't get, I never got, 4, 4chan was after when it really would have been a thing for me and 4chan and this mentality the cringe mentality and the and the memes the meme culture and everything like i just don't get it and there's a lot of that that, that kind of happened from debate club which if you're not familiar with debate club it's essentially like this little area this little airlock supposedly where people would kind of just scream into a pillow and um that's what a lot of Discord has kind of turned in for people. I also use Discord to scream into a pillow. And it got me in some pretty big trouble. Because I was I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to be mad and say stupid stuff. And I learned a lot from that. It's been over a year, maybe two years now. Um, Trooper says, what are your thoughts about the playground? Do you understand why we are all about blanket bands work? I, you know, to each their own. That's what I get to say. Um, I'm personally not a fan of blanket bands, personally, but I definitely understand that you have a right, and I respect that right as a community owner, why you would do that. Absolutely. I think that the thing that sucks about it is, like, 
I also am, it's tricky because as the leader of a community for Swift Knights and what we did for uh, Planet Side, we had 300 members. 300 members is a lot of members. And like, we had one of the largest outfits on Soul Tech. And there's like, there's no way I could have ever, like, <laughs> ever policed that. And we are like, so there's a weird mix. Like, that's why I think we're in this tornado because we're in this weird mix of it's a military game everybody should be thick skinned but we're not like we're we're not i guess because we think we're the military but we're not and you want to like talk trash and you want to say these things but it's like but there's i would say a disproportionate amount of veterans that play this game as well so it's almost kind of a perfect storm um so it's uh <laughs> People are posting some crazy stuff there on the chat. But, um, no, I think every, so I disagree with Dalk saying that DPH doesn't even matter. Um, I would absolutely say that every server matters and every server's community matters. Um, I think that there's people that, I also think you have to look at people's intent. I don't know. I guess just be, be kind, love each other, man. Like a lot of us, the chat, man, chat just screws it all up. Because if you were to just talk to somebody, it would just be fine. It would just be fine. Like, oh, there is a note issue. But because of the fact that we we interpret chat with our own view, I guess. So, just something to consider. There you go. That guy, at the end of the day, enjoy the game. Don't be an ass and have fun. So... <laughs> Air Order Nesto, by the way. Thank you. Getting into some dark vet humor, but I know because I'm modding. Thanks for modding, by the way, Air Nesto. I appreciate that. Um, No, I guess just if you have an issue, even if you're scared to talk to somebody, I think that you should try. I think you should try to talk to somebody. And But it, I think just the act of, of dealing with that to just try to push through it. And I guess you got to be careful if you don't feel safe or whatever, but I don't know. You got to do what's comfortable, but at the same time, like I don't feel you should be, be ever afraid to talk to somebody, but I know the internet turns rules upside down and people get crazy and they're like, I'm going to find out doxing and all this other stuff. So it's just such a, it's such a dice roll, man. So I don't know, but yeah, as Kai said, don't bottle up your feelings. I just think that that's what we need to do. So, you need to you need to talk to people. Maybe moderators the way to go. Maybe don't go in alone if you're if you're not comfortable. But I just my feeling that I want to leave you with is that you want to just talk to somebody. You, chat doesn't do it when it gets to this point. So, if in doubt, rub one out. All right, well, let's see if somebody is playing squad, and we will host them. What we got here? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, man. <laughs> Fender's right. Why can't we all just get along? Stax, thank you. We'll drop it on Bunny. All right, cool. All right, well... It's been a while since I've done a squad stream, so we'll just end it with a special thanks to the brave men and women of the United States Armed Forces and our allies all over the world. For us, squad is just a game. <laughs> it's funny to say that. Uh, but to... Oh, please not Bunny? Why not, Piquet? Is Bunny not... Who is Bunny? I don't even know who Bunny is. It's a medic. She's literally Doc, but the female version of Doc. Okay.
Oh, it's a girl. With the Playboy Bunny. Oh, boy. All right. Well, then I'm not going to host anybody. <laughs> we'll just, if if I can't do it right, we're just not going to do it. Um, <laughs> Ernesto, I would totally just host you. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, it's time to go to bed. So, all right. Well, what I was saying was a special thanks to the brave men and women of the United States Armed Forces and our allies all over the world. Uh, for us, squad is just a game, but for those brave men and women putting their lives on the line every day in, day out, deployed here at home, wherever they may be, um, if they get hurt, they get killed, there is no respawn button. There's no right-click band-aid. There's no Bob. They could just start all over. So we just like to take a second and say thank you active duty military personnel thank you reserves and especially thank you veterans for your service and your sacrifice so that's uh true that's that's how i go that's that's my end that's my that's right every day is military appreciation day fender knows so Oh, is Bob Ross a thing? If Bob Ross is up. Is Bob Ross. Is Bob Ross. Oh, there's Bob Ross. We could use little Bob Ross. So we will hope host Bob Ross. All right, guys. May all your trees be happy. Have a great night.